gamers, welcome to my boulders. This is Mario Kart Wii Deluxe. It's a hack that has every single Mario Kart track in it and we're playing them all. So this hack has multiple different additions. All the additions have different characters. I picked a Mario Kart Tour-esque version, the red one. And as we can see, there's a lot of different costumes here. We got, I, I guess like Hawaiian Baby Mario. We got Chef Baby Luigi. There's just all sorts of stuff. I guess it's all, a lot. like I said, a lot of these costumes do come from Mario Kart Tour. I like the Builder Luigi. I don't know the names of any of these. Flower Daisy, I guess. I mean, it's cool. It's honestly pretty neat. Yo, Vampire Waluigi, that's kind of sick too. I, oh, wait, hold on, what even is this? Like Samurai Donkey Kong, I guess? Ooh, it's Smart Bowser. He's got glasses that makes him smart. Wow, good for him. Gold Dry Bowser. I'm gonna pick Funky Kong, of course. I like this Link Funky Kong. I like the Rosalina too, and just regular ass Luigi's Mansion King Boo. Yeah, yeah, ho! Okay, so for whatever reason, the cars don't show up. Don't know why. But if you don't believe me when I say there's every single track, well, let's just scroll for a little bit. All the N64, all the GBA, all the GCN, all the DS. It's insane, and let's, let's just go beyond this, okay? Look how many extra tracks are in this hack. I don't know if I will finish them all, but I'm gonna try. I will get as far as I can. Look at this, I'm just scrolling for forever. There's endless tracks. There's like 650 something tracks. It's crazy, but we'll be going in order. Let's start with Mario Circuit 1. Man, this is gonna be an adventure. This is gonna be a goddamn adventure. This is, okay, it's a remake, I guess, technically. You know what, I like the sunset. The sunset actually looks really cool. So I guess this is kind of like the version in a Mario Kart 8, but not really. It is a little bit. Oh yeah, I guess I could just do this. There we go. Ooh, I like the sound effect. The lap sound effect's really cool. So something else that's great about this mod is I believe a majority of the tracks have original music. So you don't have to listen to Mario Kart Wii a thousand times. That is exciting for me. Man, this is leaving a really good first impression. I mean, this track doesn't do anything crazy, but visually, looks pretty awesome. Really, really like all the details in the background. It's pretty sweet. Oh, I just realized that has five laps too. Oh, that's... Yo, look at the PAL block. Oh, that's sick. Oh man, they changed the design of the PAL block. That's so cool. I love the sound effects. Like the jingles, they just sound so nice. Hold on, hold on, there was a bullet bill? There was a bullet bill on the ground. Was I able to pick that up? Oh, is this like item rain? For anyone that doesn't know what item rain is, basically, it's kind of hard to describe item rain. Basically a bunch of items fall on the ground. That's what it is, it literally rains items. But in the item rain mode, you could pick up like bullet bills and stuff, like things you normally could not pick up. Okay, is that bullet bill still there? Yes, it is. Let's go, bullet bill first place, hell yeah. Not cheating at all. Yeah, okay, that was cool. That was awesome. So this one looks a lot more traditional to the uh, the other ones. I'm not expecting every single one of these tracks to be remade, like visually remade. A lot of them will probably look pretty similar to the originals, which is fine. Oh, I'm just realizing the drift is like a different color. Hold on. Is this like based off of, you know, it's just purple. I don't, why is it purple? Because it looks nice. That's probably the only reason why. Well, I, sh I keep forgetting I should probably be uh, doing wheelies. Wheelies seem like a- Yo, the Kimmick Zoom Broom item! Oh, that's sick. There's new carts? I didn't even realize there's new carts. That's awesome. Oh, you should have hit that, Baby Peach. That was for you. All right, I need to remember the timing for avoiding the POW. It's been a minute. Do you know what? I feel like I'm going to play a lot of this mod. Yo, Bullet Bill? <laughs> I love these Bullet Bills on the track. Damn, seventh to second. I wonder if this mod has the thundercloud, because some of these mods do change the thundercloud or they just don't have them. Like that's how much people don't like thundercloud. I mean, it's not a good item, but I have not seen it yet. So maybe this mod just doesn't have it. Yo, golden mushroom. But you can pick up, how does it even work? How do you pick up a golden mushroom? I mistimed that again, dang it. It's weird trying to time the pow block because it's like so animated. So I don't know exactly what I'm looking for in the animation. Oh, hell yeah, <laughs> another bullet bill. And triple reds, I think will be fine, probably. Oh boy, nice timing. Honestly, I'll take third. This one again, basically looks the same. I mean, there, there is more booze. I guess the booze are more obvious. You can see them more. There's the moon. It's about it. I mean, it looks pretty much the same beyond that. But I do like that it has, you know, the actual music. Take this vampire Waluigi. I missed the jump. Dude, I love the, the star sound effect when you trick. I don't know why that's so amusing. Like, I'm just not, I'm not expecting it. Okay, here we go. Okay, still have not figured out the timing. Maybe in like four videos, I'll figure out the power block timing. We'll see. 
Oh, that's bad. Okay, don't drive on that. Didn't know that. Oh, there were stars there. Oh, crap. Oh, Mega Mushroom! I missed the Mega Mushroom, too. I'm just, like, not exp I need to start expecting just random items that are actually really helpful on the ground. Oh, that's not good, though. Oh, God. <laughs> Little baby spiny shell just chilling on the ground waiting for someone. Here we go. Big! And the race is over. Ending the race with Big Funky Kong. Doesn't get much better than that. Oh, 69 points? Hell yeah. Now moving on to SNES Bowser Castle 1. Honestly, looks pretty damn cool. I like all these huge marble pillars in the background. It's pretty awesome. What else is going on? See, the thing is, I don't even want a trick here. Because, like, I'm just going to get bonked. Oh, this honestly looks way different. I mean, it says it's the original, but, like, it looks a lot different. This is starting to look more similar, though. I think there's more thwomps? Maybe? I don't remember the, the thwomp pattern specifically, but... Seems like there's more thwomps in the original. You know, I really like the change. Adding the little fire spears, spear things, that's cool. Very nice addition. A little bit of extra challenge. Just spicing it up a little bit. Adding a little bit of uh, onion, oregano to the track, dare I say. Yeah, this one's this one works really well in this game. Wow. Oh, wait, hold on. This one's only three laps. The other ones were five laps. Don't know why. You don't question it. Don't question the mod. You just embrace it. That's my philosophy. Hold on. Is that blooper smear different? The st hold on. The, the texture itself looks different. I mean, I could be wrong, but it looks a little bit different. Wow, we did it. First place. Is this Mario Luigi music? Hold on. It sounds like one of the Mario Luigi games, but I don't know which one. Okay, let's actually go into the settings this time. Change some things up. Uh, oh, there's 200. Oh, boy. Okay, uh, sure, we'll try We'll try 200. I don't know how it's going to go. Honestly, kind of want to try some other characters. I know it's not Funky Kong, but I'll take the Flame Runner. Next, we've got SNES Mario Circuit 2. This one's looking a lot like the first one. A lot of the same background elements. Dude, I like this Rosalina costume. It looks very, very nice. Like, it's such a vibrant dress. Like, it, it works for her pretty well. Yeah, this is fun. This is a really good track, too. Dude, I was expecting to fly for a second. I'm like, oh, yes, I'm going to fly. I'm just so used to Mario Kart 8 and the gliding. Dude, imagine if this game had gliding. Like, I wonder if that's something you could even mod into it. Because that would honestly be kind of sick. Wouldn't really make sense because of, like, the way the tricking system works. But... It would be kind of interesting to, like, add in gliding. Look at that idiot running into a pipe. I like how the blooper inked me in the exact same spot. Okay, here we go. Give me some stars. Hell yeah! Let's go! I don't know why I was going for... <laughs> I was going for the mushroom as well for, like, no reason. We win? Oh, boy. We won. Now we've got SNES Choco Island 1. This one is looking very, very similar to the original as well background at all. Actually, it kind of looks like the Mario Kart DS one, which I know is a weird thing to say. Well, no, Mario Kart DS, I think, had Choco Island 2. It did have Choco Island 2, but, like, the background is very, very similar to that game. God, it's so hard to trick with, uh, this many, uh, ramps. Because I'm, like, trying to, uh... Okay, there we go. It's just awkward because I'm not used to the D-pad. Well, if I use my other finger, there we go. You know, this is a good track for five laps. This is a very short track. I mean, they all were, but, like, they made this one really short in this game. Hey, let's go. Oh, crap. Oh, crap! Okay, we made it. That one was a drip. A drip? It was a trip. Didn't have any drip. I've never had drip. I just like boulders, okay? Not about that bling. Unless there was a such thing as boulder bling, then maybe I would consider it? I don't think that's real. I like how this one's just titled Rain. It's not an original version, it's not a remake, it's just rain. You know what, they're not wrong though, there is rain. There do be water, it is storming. So, kind of interesting to see this one here, because this was, I believe, a, re uh, a remix, or a remake or whatever, in Mario Kart Wii. So yeah, it literally was, that's why it looks so familiar. So I like that, you know, they added it again, but they did kind of change how it looks. Which is refreshing. Isn't it weird that there's like almost no rain tracks? in Mario Kart in general. Like, there's Luigi's Circuit and Super Circuit. I don't think of, like, anything else. I guess there's technically the Cloud one in Mario Kart 8. But yeah, there's not a lot of, like, rain tracks. There's very few. There we go. I avoided it because I was in the air. Perfect. Ooh, yo. Oh, I missed the mushroom. <laughs> God damn it. I just want to see what the gold mushroom even does. Like, it's probably just the same as a regular mushroom, but because, like, you can't do multiple boosts from the ground. Oh, wow. I actually got debated there. 
God damn it, Mario. Wow. Wow! All of that because Mario threw a shell at me. All right, can you add a one? Just add a one. I didn't get ninth. Add a one in the bottom left. That's a place I got. Wow, I got first. Okay, great. So this is Donut Plains 2. However, I saw a very weird looking ramp that I want to try to get to. I've never seen a ramp in that spot. Yeah, dude, what is going on with that ramp all the way on the left? What is the point of... How do I... Hold on. I saw it for like a split second. Okay, yeah, so I guess if you have a mushroom, you can just take the ramp all the way on the left. Okay, now I understand like what the point of that is. I don't know if I'll get to... I really want to try it. I almost want to go farther back just so I can try that mush... That uh, ramp out. All right, screw it. I'm just going to do it. I want to find it out. Okay, here we go. Bro, this ramp is crazy. Is this a boost? Yo, it's a boost! Okay, that's actually pretty neat. Was it helpful? I mean, I guess I'm in first, so sure. But it'd definitely be a lot better with a mushroom, like, obviously. Alright, that was neat. I like that. Now we've got SNES Bowser Castle 2. Looks pretty much the same as the first one. Not really a surprise. I imagine the person that made the first one just made all of them, because, like, why not, right? You already have all the assets. Might as well. Okay, that's fun. You know, I really like how this map is scaled. It feels... Because the original map feels very small and almost claustrophobic, and I just don't think it works that well. This works a lot better. Yeah, this is a really solid version. I mean, visually, it's not super interesting, but, like, gameplay-wise, very, very good. Yeah! Okay, we dodged it barely. Woo! I'm tempted to take the left path. Yeah, the left... I was thinking maybe the left path added, like, a ramp or something. No, I don't think so. Yeah! Jesus. Wow, they really made the thwomp patterns hard. Also, something really weird that I found out recently. Did you know Mario Kart Tour does not have triple red shells? It's got, like, every item imaginable. A ton of new items, but no triple red shells. Why? I don't know. Now, it's SNES Mario Circuit 3. I know it's hard to tell the difference. Believe me. These are the SNES tracks, though. And after this, we do move on to some different themes, which is nice. <laughs> I'm ready for new themes already. Oh, gosh. Thank you. Appreciate that, Bullet Bill. You know what is strange? This really does not feel like the Mario Kart 8 version of this track, because this is, of course, DLC. But it doesn't really feel like it, because the roads are so narrow. But I guess that is something that is interesting about this game. Like, it is so easy to go from 1st to 12th, but it's also easy to go from 12th to 1st. Like, that's what makes the game so interesting. Dude, look at that. God, the gap is so tiny there. Can we get the snipe? Yeah! Nope. Well... He sniped himself, so I guess I'll take that. Yeah! I'll take that! Let's go! On to a new theme, Koopa Beach number one. You know what? I really like how the water looks. Reminds me of Mario Sunshine a little bit. Oh my... Why does the water slow you down this much? <laughs> okay, thank you. Yeah, indeed. Yeah! Woo! Dude, I... <laughs> I did not even notice the ramp there. Just an instinct, yes, I must trick now. Okay, this is actually a really solid remake of this one. This feels very, very... Oh, my God. I am getting completely bamboozled by the water. All right, let's see if we can catch up. So, yeah, let's not go for the right side since it you lose so much time. Because you don't usually lose that much time taking that side. But Man, they added a lot of crabs, though. They really made this map a lot, like, more intricate. Dude, I don't understand. I'm pushing the button right as the power block finishes. I really don't get why I'm not getting the timing there. Like, it's not hard. That was absolute trash. Holy crap! Choco Island 2. God damn, look at all these lollipops. I like the whole candy aesthetic. It's really cool. And it's a lot more interesting than Choco Island 1. Yo, look at that epic graham cracker. I like the music, too. Hmm, the mud doesn't really slip you up this time. Oh, there's a lot less ramps, too. Isn't there usually, like, 80 ramps in that section? I do, I'm so glad there's not, like, a thousand ramps. It makes it a lot more fun, honestly, because since there is such a huge incentive on tricking if there was like 50 ramps it'd be really hard to control which direction you're going so this is nice this is a really solid one bro what am i i don't get it maybe i'm pushing the wrong button because i've been pushing the trick button for the pow block i'll try a different button next time i guess woo indeed you know i kind of forgot that was 200 cc <laughs> it didn't really feel like it i gotta do vampire waluigi i mean he's just so cool Okay, you know what? When Vanilla Lake 1 is that zoomed out, it looked very, very blurry. The, the picture is... The, the, the background is just a big old picture. It's a very blurry picture. But, let's see how the track itself is. 
I like the music a lot. The music's great. Oh, hold on. They got rid of all the ice blocks. Hmm. That's strange. Not that I'm complaining. I always found the ice blocks to be kind of annoying. God, I love this Waluigi. He looks so freaking... Dude, he is seriously dripping out in his hat. He looks so good. He's got the cape. I mean, he's basically a superhero, right? I mean, I would want Waluigi to save me. If I was stuck in a tree, I couldn't escape. I want Waluigi to save me. Yeah, this track is great. The only weird thing, like I said, is just the background. It's just super blurry and pixelated, but everything else looks pretty awesome. The highlight's definitely the music. Fantastic remix. Good job, you win. I win. Now on, or now moving on to, I should say, Bowser Castle 3 once again. Looks pretty similar to the other ones. It'd be kind of cool, though, if they, like, pulled from Mario Kart Tour's remakes. Because, honestly, the Mario Kart Tour ones, especially Bowser Castle 4, is actually pretty damn sick. Speed. Oh, finally! Wow, so the Golden Mushroom's just a regular mushroom. Not as interesting as I was hoping for. I mean, why would it be anything else, though? You can't, like, just... I guess you could technically, like, have it added to your item slot. But what if you have an item, like, in your slot already? Yeah, I don't know. That just wouldn't make any sense. Ah! Oh, my God! That was so close. God, look at that suit. He is ready to go to the goddamn ball and dance his heart out. So I just dropped my controller on the deck. It is not working right now. You know, my controllers break a lot, but I always come prepared. Look at this, a brand new controller. I found it on the ground. I found it on the ground at a target. I don't know, the guy just kind of gave it to me. He's like, hey, boulders are cool. I'm like, yeah, you're right. And then he gave me a, a controller, so. Gonna try it out, I guess, since my controller decided to break. Now on to SNES Mario Circuit 4, but at night. It, that's it. Night and Minecraft trees. Man, thank God for that, for that, uh, just the controller I found at Target that the guy gave me for free. Thank God. You know what I like about this track, though? It's scaled properly. The turns aren't impossible. I find that's an issue with, uh, the Mario Circuit tracks in general when they're remade. A lot of times they don't get scaled well, and the turning feels really awkward. But in this game, in this particular mod, it feels fantastic. Like, it just works. Just works so well. Yeah, indeed. I agree. Okay, so I figured out I was pushing the wrong button. I just need to push up on the D-pad, not right. I kept thinking it was the trick, but it's definitely not. Alright, good to know. Oh, it feels good to not miss the pals. Oh man, it feels nice. Okay, anything else gonna hit me? I mean, I'm actually pretty far ahead, all things considered, but still. I'll take it. Oh, Donut Plains 3 Mario Kart 8. Okay, that's actually kind of cool. So obviously, oh, wait, hold on, I hear Piantas, I hear Munga, hum, 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 Munga. Where are they? All right, I guess they're behind us. No, this is cool though. I like that they went with the Mario Kart 8 style. I mean, obviously looks a lot simpler, but I, I actually kind of like how it looks a lot more vibrant, like the original. See, this is neat. I like this. They go with, like, the Mario Kart 8 design, but they give it its own visual look. This is cool. Oh, we got the Monty Moles, too. That's pretty awesome. Oh, there's the Pianos over there. Cool. Gotta love the random crowd of people in all the racing games ever. Always cheering you on. You know, there should be a racing game where everyone's booing you. They're just like, boo, you suck. I hope you lose, you idiot. That would be kind of epic. I'm tired of them always cheering for you. They don't care about me. Clearly, do you really think they care about me? Look at them. They're all just chilling in that random spot in a group. No, they're just a cult that secretly hates me, but they're just pretending to like me. What's worse, people that actually hate you or people that pretend to like you? I don't know what's worse. You let me know down below. That was, oh, okay. That buffed out very nicely. I almost got hit like three times there. God damn. Waluigi wins, whoa. So apparently this uh, Koopa Beach 2 is based off Mario Kart Tour. Never actually played the Mario Kart 2 version, so uh, I guess here we go. Yeah, I like it so far. It's very big. It's a lot bigger than the original. <laughs> I'm, I'm very much a fan of. I mean, it definitely looks a lot simpler, but you know what? Honestly, kind of works pretty well. Like, I would say that it works fairly well for this game. Really, the biggest difference is just the finish line is more at an angle. Like, everything else is basically the same. Okay, I get it. There we go. How do you guys like the PAL block? Can I turn off all the stupid items, please? I want to turn off the lightning, the blue shell, and the blooper. I hate those items. You know, sometimes I, I feel like Mario Kart just sucks. Because it's like, you're just trying to play, you're making progress, and then you hit like one red shell that you couldn't avoid, and boom, you're in 12th place. Sometimes it's just a little annoying. That's all I'm going to say. Well, okay. 
Me almost falling there was definitely my fault, but still. Okay, here we go. But let's use these mushes. Take that. I don't know the sniping for uh, Mario Kart Wii. Like, I know the sniping timing for some of the games, like Mario Kart 8, Mario Kart DS, but this game, not really. Dude, I love the, the Mega Mushroom music. No, why did I... God damn it. No, oh my god! I guess I'll take it. That was a combination of bad luck, and I was also just playing, like, really bad there. I think I'm just ready to move on from SNES tracks. I mean, I like that they're all in here. Like I said, it's incredibly cool. This mod has literally everything. But SNES tracks are also just SNES tracks. Like, you can only do so much with them. This, however, Ghost Valley 3 does look very interesting. Got a ramp immediately. Okay! Okay, this track's cooking. I'm cooking inside the boiling water. Oh, I like how half of us fell. No, this is cool. I like how it's starting. Oh, ooh, into the graveyard. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, I like this a lot. Oh my, okay, I was honestly was not even expecting that. Just kind of came out of nowhere. Okay, this track's kind of sick, actually. I really don't, okay, it's very easy to fall in that area. You have to really go to the left. Otherwise, you're just gonna fall and die. No, don't fall again. God, dude, it is so easy to fall. Holy crap. The way they, like, placed um, the holes, very easy to fall into them. Okay, all the way to the left this time. I'm sniping. What? How'd that not hit? Oh, come on, that was right there. Okay, I'm figuring out the stage. This is one of those stages where, like, you gotta play it a little bit before you really understand, like, how it works. It's not immediately easy to understand. Now I get it. I'll take it. Wow. Okay, this is quite the glow up. Now the trees are still a little on the blurry side, but you know what? I love these. Di Dude, this looks great. Oh my God, you got little penguins too? Oh, okay. This is actually kind of awesome. Hold on. Is this like contender for like the best remake of this track ever? Hold Dude, it looks so nice. Oh, music is also fantastic. Excellent job with the remake. This might be contender for like best remake of this track. Like genuinely. Dude, what an incredible track. I can't believe I'm saying that about freaking Vanilla Lake 2, but damn, that was a good remake. And now SNES Rainbow Road. We've seen this one remade a ton of times and it's based off Mario Kart 8, which is not a bad thing. It's a lot brighter, it's for sure. Well, I mean, it's pretty similar. It's fairly similar. I do like the uh, Mario Kart Wii star bits floating around over there, or the Rainbow Road one, I should say specifically. Okay, this is actually pretty sweet. I really like how this one looks a lot. Really, the only difference is the road does not wave. That's about it. Otherwise, very faithful to uh, the Mario Kart 8 one. Or just in general, I guess. Remix is great. I think this is the Mario Kart 8 remix, although I'm not certain on that. Ayo. Mushies. Take the mushies. Get out of the way, idiot. All right, well, kind of slayed that one. Now, will this be based off Mario Kart 7 where we can trick off of... The, uh, the ramps, and yes it is, I can already see the boost up there. All right, kind of dig that, TBH. Oh, hell yeah, we can trick off of that too. I like the random Goomba. I actually like what they did here. Oh, it's like, okay, the ramp is like in the road now. Oh, that's very, very different. Okay, there we go, our first golden mush. Oh, this is a fun one. I like all the confetti too. Yo, can I get the item box? No, I don't think it's gonna happen. All right, nice timing on the green. God damn, stop! How many more freaking items are gonna happen? It's gonna absolutely bombarded with items. It's like, that's just how it is even in just regular Mario Kart Wii. Not even just this mod. It's like this in the regular game too. What I do actually really like about this is that the, the bleachers are just a part of the road. Like at first it's, it looked weird, but honestly it works a lot better design wise. It doesn't feel like you have to take like such a weird route or such an offhand route, I guess, to like get around. Bro, are you kidding me? I already... S okay. I can't complain. We got first. It's whatever. Oh my god, look at this. It looks so nice. I do wish I could see more of the cows. I did see a couple. That's like the only thing I can say about this. This looks incredible. Okay, there's cows. You can see them. That's good. That's all I cared about. Just need to see the cows. Dude, this looks incredible. What an absolute blow up this track got. I can't get over how nice this one looks. It just looks so good. Especially for like Mario Kart Wii, because Mario Kart Wii has this tendency to look kind of like muddy and like washed out, but this just looks great. I mean, this almost is like Mario Kart 8 kind of textures. 
I don't know why it's five laps. I mean, I guess it is kind of short. I also like they did something different with the Monty Moles, too. It's like the uh, the Moo Metal ones, instead of just popping out of the ground. Which I guess you kind of have to do. This is Mario Kart Wii. You'd have to, like, completely custom code the Monty Moles to make them work like they did in N64. But I think this is fine. Like, what they did here works perfectly. Man, I got hella gypped there. How to even speed up ahead? I was doing fine. He just randomly caught up to me. Now, Koopa Troopa Beach, looking very, very similar to the original. Although, obviously, textures are a lot better. It's kind of hard to not make them look better than N64. You just kind of have to, like, it's not hard. To, it's just, like, one color for, like, the sand. Really like it. Okay, so the ramp is actually a lot like uh, Mario Kart Tour's ramp. Actually, I think it's exactly like Mario Kart Tour's ramp. Well, no, Mario Kart 7, it was kind of like that one, too. Okay, it's time to catch up. This is not going to help me running into walls. I will take just one mushroom. Or three. Got it! Come on! Stupid baby peach! Alright, one mushroom still. Just I just want to try the shortcut, that's all. I want to give a little bit of a taste. A little bit of a teeny taste. There we go. Now, no, I don't want any stupid-ass items or any stupid mega mushroom uh, getting rid of my item. I just want to use the stupid shortcut, okay? I was so tempted to get that bullet bill. <laughs> you don't understand. I'm like, ooh, ooh, I need that. No, this was, oh my. Are you goddamn kidding me? What was that? What's up with that? I'm not supposed to trick? That's how it would appear. No tricking there. Now, is the bullet bill still there? That's the real question. Because I will use it this time. It was around here. Yes! Dude, why don't the computers pick these up? That's, oh god, okay. Wow. That was incredibly broken. I loved it. So, Calamari Desert, I guess, is based off of uh, Mario Kart 7. I mean, I don't know if I really call it that much different. <laughs> like, the main difference between the original and that one is... There's a tumbleweed! Oh my god! There's tumbleweeds! Oh, I love those. Those are so cute. Yeah, so the main difference is those ramps. There's one there. There's one at the beginning. Uh, that's about it. I mean, it's basically the same as the original otherwise. All these idiots running into the car... The car train. The very long car. That's all train is, just a super long car. TBH, I kind of wish this was the Mario Kart Tour version. That's so weird to say. But man, dude, the Mario Kart Tour version is so good. You get to drive through the tunnel and everything. I like how the um, the warning signs even like move. Or the lights move, I should say. Very, very nice touch. All right, Coops, I need your energy. Oh, damn, not close enough. Give me your energy. If this hits them, it's gonna be insane. Oh my god, that was close. I feel like I'm going very slow. Like, again, we're on 200cc. I don't know, it just feels really slow, I guess. And I've played Mario Kart Wii in 200 before, but that 200 was, like, way too fast. Dude, I could not catch up to Koopa for the life of me. I tried for, like, half of the race. He's just so fast. Now, Toad's Turnpike, oh, based off Mario Kart 8. This ought to be really interesting, honestly, just because of the cars... Uh, cars, they're probably gonna come from Moonview Highway. God, the toads were so distracting, they kept, like, yelling things. No limits. But yeah, no, it's gonna be Moonview Highway cars in Toads Turnpike. That's actually pretty damn cool. They got the bomb cars as well. Gotta, gotta love that. Okay, that was close. Oh, I like how the speed is 64 miles an hour. I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing! Well, guess what? My speed is 92.87, so I'm... Uh, probably gonna go to jail if a cop catches me at this speed. But thankfully, the cars, um, are just kind of going whatever direction they want, so I don't think a cop will catch me out here. Well, that was Toad's Turnpike, but very narrow. I don't- the roads were very, very narrow, like, pretty much the whole time. Now, Frappe Snowland looks very similar once again. Not much of a surprise. I really like the snow effect. The snow looks nice. Dude, the snowmen are huge! Yeah, I mean, it pretty much feels the same as the original. I guess the main thing is, like, the stage itself feels like it's been scaled bigger. It's really, like, the only difference. Not much beyond that. I think this, um, this track in particular had a really good remake of Mario Kart 2 or 2. Yeah, this track, I think, feels maybe too big. Like, maybe it's scaled a tad too large. Like, I feel like, because this is probably going to take around two and a half. Okay, what the hell is that all about? Well, I'm actually glad that happened. Uh, this track's probably gonna take about two and a half minutes to finish. I feel like this could be like a two minute track, but uh, otherwise, I mean, not bad. Just a little large, that's all. Nice. Dude, I can snipe the freaking banana, but not Peach. 
Dude, why does this happen every time? I'm doing fine, and then the Koopa comes in, he's like, no, you're not allowed to win. No happiness for you. I take that back. Ooh, based off Mario Kart Tour. That's actually really sick because this is a really good remake in Mario Kart Tour. Okay, I was not expecting the hard rock. Damn, this is hitting hard. Oh, wow, this is cool. Now, the cave's definitely not as glistening, but you know what? That's okay. I like how it looks as it is. Oh, man, I'm so glad with the Mario Kart Tour remix. You know what would actually be pretty awesome? Like, if this mod can have, like, 6,000 tracks in it, why not just remake every single Mario Kart Tour track? And I don't mean, like, just, like, the city tracks. I mean literally all of them. All the remakes, um, all the non-city tracks, all the remix Mario Kart Tour tracks. Oh, that, it gets confusing when you think of remix and remake. They're technically different. But that'd be cool because there's, like, over 500 variants for Mario Kart Tour. 500 tracks, technically. So get all those in this game. Now, that would be freaking wild. And maybe, like, somehow add in the new items. I don't know how the hell you do that. Like, there's some new items. I don't know how they do it. But it would be kind of cool. Well, actually, that wouldn't really work because of the coins. Maybe, like, Mario Kart 8 you could do that. Still, I'm just saying, that would actually be kind of cool. Holy hell, the music is so good. It's really funny, too, because, like, you know, this track generally goes for more, like, country kind of, uh, like, vibe. But this is just totally different, and it still works still works really well yeah that was sick now mario raceway also already in mario kart wii but like with ghost valley 2 on the snes it's raining okay song's hitting pretty hard actually this might just be the mario kart wii song no it sounds different maybe it is i don't remember yeah it's just the mario kart wii but now there's rain not really not much to say about it to be honest Ooh, should we go for the snipe answer is uh oh what that would have hit if it was just went a little bit farther, it definitely would have hit. Yeah, I don't get squished. I thought I would just bump him for some reason. I'll take it. Zoom in forward. All right, here we go. Oh, there is there is stars there. I thought about it. Very tempting. Ah, no! Okay. Okay, this track's kind of cooking, dude. I feel like I've already played this in Mario Kart Wii. I might have, but it's still... Oh my, dude... I can literally just hop over the freaking ramp I wanted. That is tempting, dude. I want to do it so badly. Ba, 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 ba. Damn, the song's really good. Why does this mod have such great music? I mean, don't get me wrong, mods tend to have pretty solid music, but it's like incredible. Oh, that's cool. Okay, half pipe section. I don't think we've really seen any of these so far. Oh, I like the new section. It's a lot more interesting, to be honest. Why not? We'll do the half pipe. Wow! Dude, this track is freaking sick. Dude, it's so good in Mario Kart Wii. It'd be so good in Mario Kart 8 Tour as well. It's too bad that Nintendo just does not want to remake this one for whatever reason. They really don't like Wario Stadium. Also, two laps. Okay. Two laps is good. Because this track is definitely scaled a little bit bigger than uh, normal. So I think two laps is perfect. Now, recently, I played a ridiculously awesome version of Sherbet Land. I think it was... I think it was a Mario Kart 8 version or something. I don't know how anyone's ever going to top that remake. It was insanely good. I'm pretty sure it's Mario Kart 8. But I will give this one a shot, of course. And so far, pretty much what I expected. I mean, this track is also, again, already in Mario Kart Wii. It'll probably be basically the same thing, besides nighttime. Here we go. Going for the snipe. Just give me one. God, I just want one snipe. Just give me one snipe. Probably could have moved out of the way, but you know what? Green shell in the face just sounded right. God. You know what? I'm taking the ramp. Why? I don't know. It's a lot slower, but screw it. I want to take it. You can't tell me what to do. Cool. That was worth it. Oh my god damn. Wake up! Stop hitting everything right in front of you. Uh, thank you for taking my box. Appreciate it. Screw it. YOLO. No, come on! Give me a red. Die, idiot. Come on! Come on! Ah, uh, it was so close. <laughs> it was so close. Now, Royal Raceway. Looking very, very similar to the original one once again. Not much of a surprise there. I like that they added the Mario Raceway mushroom in that spot. God, I, every time I trick, I get bumped and lose all my speed. This is not tricking when I wheelie. This is why I don't like wheeling. Like, yeah, you go faster. You're right. 
but it's also very easy to get hit. And then you lose all your speed, and then it was like, why even wheelie? Might as well have just gone regular. Now, can we check out the castle? I don't know yet. Don't think I want to actually... Oh, my, dude, they added boulders? They added boulders! Okay, well, this track's officially, like, at least a 9 out of 10. They're not very big. You know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take what I can get. God, I want to try to explore the castle. I, I am tempted. I'm not going to lie. All right, you know what? Screw it. We're just going to check it out. I don't, I don't care at this point. We're going to check out the castle. Let's do it. Hell yeah. Oh, I'm so glad we can actually do it, too. Oh, it's the Mario Galaxy Castle! Oh my god, that's awesome! Oh man, wow, that's great. That's great. How far out can we go? Okay, not, not too far out. Alright, well, we are very far behind now, but honestly, it was totally worth it. Diddy Kong, you alright, bro? Awesome, three mushrooms. That will surely help me catch up. I'm actually very curious if I can catch up at all. C come on, give me a freaking bullet bill! What are you doing here? You know what? I kind of caught up. No! Dude, I'm so tired of the freaking red shells at the end of the freaking race. I am very... Okay, I was going to get seventh, and then whoever just passed me, Yoshi, decided to make my day slightly worse. Why? Now, this one, once again, was already in Mario Kart Wii. Don't expect anything different at all. It'll probably be the same old track from the Wii, which in a way is kind of refreshing because I, like, know the path. Because all these tracks, like, this is my first time playing them, so I don't know, like, what's the be best strategy is. So I'm just kind of winging it. But this, it's like, yeah, I've done this, like, a thousand times. Wow, cheater! That's right. The only person that's allowed to cheat is Waluigi. No one else can cheat. Well, that went well. Yet another one that comes from Mario Kart Wii, DK's Jungle Parkway. See how it is, I guess. I'm sure it'll be the same. Okay, once again, the music sounds different. I do think they're changing the music for all these. Which, believe me, that, that's a good thing. I'm so tired of the Mega Mushroom, dude. Can I just turn off, like, all the items? I hate the items. Like, I, no, that's not true. I don't hate the items. I just hate how frequently they show up. Can't wait to get one red mushroom since I'm in 8th place. Perfect. God, I'm... I need to... You know what? No more complaining. We're just gonna do it. We're just gonna get first. Ah! Ah! Okay. <laughs> God damn. That was close. Jesus, that was that was surprisingly intense. Ooh. Oh, this looks great. Oh, I'm excited to do some Yoshi Valley. This is gonna be a fun one. Like the little Yoshi chilling on the left. Hello. Thanks for cheering me on, even though I know you hate me secretly. Really? This is a slow path. You know what? That's actually kind of cool. Because at least that's going to force me to, like, actually change my strategy. Because I always take that same path every time. No, don't you dare squish me. There we go. Oh my god, the Yoshi Egg's going so fast. Holy crap. Finally got the snipe. Let's try the long path. I want to see what's going to happen here. If I stop getting zapped by lightning every five seconds. Okay, what do we got? Whoa, that was kind of neat. Let's do it. Oh, hell yeah. All right, nice. That felt nice. I was really not sure about that mushroom actually clearing the whole pathway, but it worked out pretty nicely. We've got classic Banshee Boardwalk. It looks like it's from Mario Kart Wii. Like, the way that all the texture are done, it just looks like it actually comes from the game. At least I don't, I don't think this is remade in Mario Kart Wii. Pretty sure it isn't, but it does kind of look like it is. Just going to wait. Dude, how does he get so many freaking Mega Mushrooms? Have you ever thought about that, dude? Like, I have not gotten a single Mega Mushroom this whole time I've been playing. I have seen all the computers get them like 80 times. Like, what the hell? Nice. Beautiful timing, actually. Love the timing on that. Peach. Did you really have to, did you really have to bump into me? Come on, I had three bananas, so did you. What did you think was gonna happen? Yosh. Fine, I'll just do this, idiot. Well, that was a good track. Don't know much else to say. It was just a very good track. And now finishing things off with Rainbow Road. Oh my god! Oh my dude, I cannot believe how nice it looks. Is it just one lap? Oh, it's two laps. Look at this. I mean, obviously based off Mario Kart 8, but like, damn, I am shocked at how nice it looks. This looks nothing like a Mario Kart Wii track, honestly. No muddiness, no washed out colors. It's just amazing. That's it. Oh, they got the waves to work, too. Hell yeah. Damn, what a way to end the N64 tracks. 
It's just, it's incredibly faithful to Mario Kart 8. Oh, cool. There's like, there's, um, oh god. Ah! You know what I do like? They made the chain chomps a lot harder. Because, like, in the Mario Kart 8 one, I mean, yeah, they're kind of hard to avoid, I guess, but also not really. Now, can I go on the star? I feel like I can, but I don't have a mushroom, so I'm not going to try it. Wow. Dude, I am very impressed with this track. I think I'm going to hold on to these mushrooms, if possible. Yeah, I want to try out that star thing, see if that works. At this point, I don't really care what place I get. I just want to try the mushroom trick. Yeah, you could totally trick onto those. You could absolutely jump onto them. All right, it's coming up. Are you freaking kidding me? Well, that was all the N64 tracks. What a banger to end things with. Goddamn. Oh, wow. Look at the castle. Oh, the castle looks so cool. I love how someone, like, remade it in 3D. That's so cool. Music's great, too. Yeah, indeed. Yes. Yeah, this looks great. I mean, they didn't really do anything too much different compared to the original, but, like, just the fact that all of the textures have been spruced up and look a lot better is enough. Wow, it's been a surprisingly calm match. The Mario Kart Wii, it sure loves its blue shells and lightnings every 10 seconds, but so far, nothing for now. I should knock on boulders for good luck, but... Oh, there we go. Okay, red shells, whatever. Now... GBA Shy Guy Beach, this is already in Mario Kart Wii. It's not going to be anything different. But, of course, we'll try it out anyway. Yeah, so this is just plain old Mario Kart Wii. You know, I'm still trying to wonder if I should even bother playing, like, the Wii tracks. Since it's literally just Mario Kart Wii. But it would also feel very weird to just, like, skip the Wii tracks entirely. Oh, cool. Oh, I'm big! Okay, hold on. They did... Okay, I honestly didn't even realize that the Thundercloud was replaced with this boo. Okay, that was freaking sick. Thank you to whoever did that. Dude, of course, the freaking Koopa sump- Oh! I have been having some- Some luck with that Koopa. Very, very surprised I somehow got first there. Ooh, remake of Riverside Park. It's so weird to, like, play- Like, all of a sudden play so many remakes of this track. Like, there was the Mario Kart 8 one. I played, like, two or three in mods, and now we're doing yet another one. And, uh, this one looks to be very faithful to the original. I definitely appreciate. I like the toad just hanging out, trying to wave me into his tent. Like, I'm going to help him with his campfire. Sir, look at me. I'm Vampire Waluigi. I got a suit on. I got a ball to go to, okay? I don't have time to do your campfire song song garbage, all right? Dude, this truck's kind of sick, actually. I really like what they did with this. Great remake. It's a little, I guess, on the plain side. And the only reason I say that is because, like... I've played so now that I've played so many remakes, I have like all these other biases on like what this track can look like redone. So this is like it's great, but it's nothing like you know outstanding. Like it's a very very great track. Well, I had a chance of catching up to you. Now I don't know. Oh. Okay, are we about to pop off here? Maybe. Let's go another clutch. And clutching these out, man. You know what? I like they didn't just copy over the SNES, like, background. This actually uh, looks like recreation of what's on Game Boy Advance. Which is very, very much appreciated. This is great. Ba -ba. Ooh, music's pretty good, too. Yeah, this is good. I do think one of these were in Mario Kart Wii. I think it was Bowser Castle 2 on GBA. No, no, it was 3. It was 3. It's the blue one. Oh, they put a ramp there. Why is there a ramp in that spot? That's interesting. I guess you could use, like, a boost maybe to get on it. Not sure. Oh, that's just great. I mean, it's probably fine. I'm pretty far ahead. I think I'll be okay. Okay, this is awesome. It's not just Mario Circuit. It's the Mario Kart 8 one. Massive fan of this. Huge, huge fan of this. This is cool. Oh, wow, it's very small. At least it feels like it's scaled a lot smaller. Oh, yes, it's definitely scaled to be a lot smaller. It really makes you wonder, like, what's even the point of anti-gravity? <laughs> like, yeah, it does change up the gameplay technically, because you hit players, you get boosts and whatever, but at the same time, a lot of the track design, it's like, do you really need it? I mean, it doesn't really feel like you're, like, you know, driving on the wall necessarily, because the camera angle looks exactly the same for the most part. Wow, look at that style. Just wasting my items like they're nothing. What? This is Boo Lake? 
Bro, this is like a whole different track. Okay, this is actually kind of hype. Wow, this is... This might be like the craziest remake I've seen yet. From like this mod. Okay, wow, this is very, very... It's even different from like Nintendo's remake on Mario Kart 8. Oh, this is really cool. Like they actually make it look like a lake. Wow. Imagine that. Yeah, this is awesome. I will say, I'm actually very curious, like, how faithful the track design is to, like, the original. Because, honestly, this feels, like, completely different in every way. Massive wow- Wowie zowie! God, I hope more people start saying that now. Just, like, unironically. Wowie zowie! Okay, well, that track, while it was long, since it was constantly changing, it was so engaging, that did not feel like a three-minute track. That's how good it was. All right, so this cheese land, I'm actually very curious how it's gonna work. It's gonna have all the cheese holes. Okay, no cheese holes in the ground. So it is technically shaped like Mario Kart 8. Does not really feel like it, but god damn, one item. 12th place. Don't touch me! Don't touch me, I'm sterile! Okay. Oh, hell yes! Oh, hell yes. No, no, I want the boo. I like the boo. I like feeling scary. Look at me, look how scary I look. Very scary Waluigi. Oh, but they got rid of the ramps! No! <laughs> okay, I wish at the very least this track at least had the ramps. Like, I understand getting rid of the cheese holes. Probably would have been kind of weird. Especially with the way tricking works in this game. Because you get, like, locked into place when you're, like, in the air. So, th the cheese holes in the ground probably wouldn't have worked. But I feel like the ramps would have been fine to still include. But, it's just my thoughts on it, at least. Alright, here we go. No! No! I'm not gonna- Nuh-uh. No. You ran into that freaking dirt one time. I'm like, hell no. I'm not losing to that. Okay. This one got a freaking glow up too. Look at this. I like all the chains. Makes me feel like I'm stuck here for forever. No, I really like all the chains. Like, it's actually a really nice looking aesthetic. And the ground is all crumbly. The music's metal. That's what I'm talking about. God damn. Oh my god. <laughs> it's not just regular boost. It's freaking speed boost. Or ramps, I should say. That actually makes these ramps way more interesting, the fact that you can speed off of them. This just might be the best version this track I've ever seen. And this one has been remade a ton of times. This is a contender for, like, the best remake. Wow. S-tier on that. That was freaking S-tier. Oh, yeah, I guess I should change my character now. I've been using Waluigi for a while. I'll change him up. God, I want to play as Smart Bowser. Professor Bowser. Uh, God, I don't know. Yeah, screw it, Professor Bowser it is. We gotta do that. Now I've just got classic Luigi Circuit. I re it actually looks like it's raining. Just like the way that like the water is kind of bouncing off the road itself. Uh, really adds to the effect a lot. More so than like just rain. You know, if, if Bowser were a professor, what would he teach? Would he be like a math major, a science major? Would he be into history? Oh my god! Woo! I was, like, this close to hitting that puddle. Wow! Why does this, like, almost look better than the Mario Kart 8 version? Drive on the actual vines? That's sick! Oh, I love the shy guys on the hot air balloons. That is adorable. Oh, and they have the ramp still on the right? Okay, they have the little thing. Okay, this is actually ridiculous. They have the classic-looking road. It's not weird, like, orange or brown, like in 2 or in 8. No, it's just plain old green. It actually looks like the original. Like, don't get me wrong, the, the remake is fine in Mario Kart 8, but honestly, this looks way better. I don't know if it plays better yet. I need to play more of it. Ah! 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 Go! Just, just go, goddammit. Stop running into things and stopping. Okay. That was sloppy. But, I don't know, I feel like the way that track was laid out was also a little wonky. Like, it took me a second to get used to it. I, it's strange. I still sometimes feel like the best remake of that track is just the DS one. Yeah, this looks pretty cool. I'm like in Cheap Cheap Island. We got the uh, the jet. You want to take our jet skis on the boat? you love to see it. Okay, this track. You know, I think that... I, was this one based off of uh, Mario Kart Tour? Because it reminds me nothing of the original. Okay, well now... Um, okay, now I, okay, now it reminds me of the original one. Wow, you know, I think, honestly, the biggest issue with this track is it's scaled way too big. It should not take, like, almost a minute to complete one lap. I feel like that's way too long. It visually looks very nice, it's just scaled way too big. Oh, what's this? Okay, this is cool. I like having the extra route. 
Okay, here we go. Give ourselves a lot of space. All right, let's do this thing. Oh, okay, you 100% need mushrooms for this. Of course, based off Mario Kart Tour. Now I am curious, is the sunset actually gonna go down? We'll find out. If it does, then shame on Nintendo for not being able to do that still in Mario Kart 8's version. I bet this version will have changing the changing background. Yes, oh, they added a ramp there. That's cool. Look at that, the sunset's changing. Dude, some modders doing this for free can change the sunset. But that just didn't happen in Mario Kart 8. Bruh, like really? God damn it, dude. You know what? We're going in on this ramp, let's do it. Come on! God, I hate the item spam in this game. It's so annoying sometimes. Bruh, I was so ready. I'm like, yes, we're gonna take the ramp. A chance to redeem myself after that, but no. The game is like, I hate you. I'm ready for this track to end. It's not even the track's fault. This track's fantastic. I'm just tired of getting spammed with lightning and red shells and blue shells every five seconds. That's all. This is a very colorful version of Snowland. I mean, wow, look at this. It's super colorful. This is awesome. I really like, like, um, all the holes they added and stuff. Makes this a lot more interesting. Dude, and the crystals in the background look so good, too. Like, I'm really, I've been just so amazed with, like, how many of the backgrounds have not just been, like, ported over, but, like, entirely recreated. Now, again, honestly, my only issue with the track is it still feels like it's too big. Which has been kind of a, oh, look at that, there's a shortcut. It's been kind of a recurring thing, though, I think, with this mod in particular, and even a lot of mods, is scaling the tracks. I think it's kind of hard to do. Like, it's hard to tell, like, how long a track should be. And it's like, once you finish it, it's like, well, now what, you know? All right, based off Ribbon Road, I like the CTGP revolution on the screen. That's really funny. Okay, this is actually kind of cool. Don't fall. Woo, that was close. Oh, okay, the shortcut's there, too. We'll try the shortcut in a little bit. Wow, so even though it's not wavy, it doesn't really matter. Like, you basically trick in the same spots as you would, like, in uh, the original. Okay. Let's try the shortcut. If I can stop falling every five seconds, that'd be great. Okay, here we go. Woot. Hell yeah. That was cool. Awesome. Ooh. Okay, Yoshi Desert. Wow. This looks so much different. This looks very, very different, though. Oh, I love it. Oh, look at this! Oh, this is so clean. The Yoshi Sphinx is still here, too. Ah! Go, go, go! Stop running into the freaking sand! That was so lucky. Oh, cool! They actually remade this! Oh, that's awesome! Because this, again, is usually in Mario Kart Wii, but they, like, redid all the textures. Oh. Oh, this is nice. Look at that. The simmering heat off the lava. The the brick textures on the road is better. The music's been redone. I fell into the lava so I could really get a nice look at it. Wow, the lava looks really good too. Damn, this this is a really solid remake. Like, it is literally the exact same track layout. But it just looks so much better. It looks so much more interesting. Like, I feel like after everything that happened, I don't know why I got first. It just happened. Now, I absolutely love Lakeside Park. Awesome to see this getting remade. The freaking volcano, I just saw it erupt in the background. Oh, hell yeah, it actually ex Okay, that's so cool. The little lava ball things actually go on the track again. Okay, that's fantastic. Like, you know what? They might have not done much with the, uh, the layout, just in general. But damn, it, it's just great. Like, honestly, the layout itself is fine. I think the biggest issue with the original version was that it felt way too small. This one feels like it's scaled pretty well. Now, is it scaled maybe a bit too big yet again? Possibly. It is over a minute. But the thing is, I don't feel like it's dragging on. Dude, once again, this track looks incredibly vibrant for what's supposed to be a ghost track. But I like it. Broken Pier. Dude, the color scheme honestly works so well. Now, Boo Lake was insanely good. I don't know if we're going to get that kind of quality with this. I mean, so far it looks a lot more faithful to the original, which is fine. I just like how much more colorful the track is in general. Hey, they remade those Bowser Bomb things. Oh, that's awesome. Now, is it as crazy looking as the Mario Kart 2 version of this track? Definitely not. But you know what? 
in some ways, that's okay. Yeah, this is uh, pretty darn faithful to the original. Just about down to a T. And now, GBA Rainbow Road. This is one that we do not see remade very often. I mean, I've done a couple of them, but not very often do we see this. So I'm assuming I'll be able to, like, trick off these uh, edges? You can. Okay, great. Excellent. That's really cool. Ba -ba -da -bum -bum -bum. Wow, music's really good. Great, great remake. Gotta take on the side. Da -da 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 -bum -ba -da 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 -da. Wow, this is honestly a lot more fun than the original. And I'm digging it, man. You got the Paper Mario uh, castle thing. The trick is really, you can't do a very big jump, which I think is a good thing, because you could really break the course if you were good and just, like, skip half the track. Oh, you could just trick off of the side, like, the whole time. Okay, that's funny. Now, this route is extremely scary in the original. It's so easy to fall off and die, but here, I mean, not really. You got a lot more control. And that is all of the Super Circuit track. Oh, wow, this just looks straight up exactly the same as the Wii one. Hey, I'm down with that. And these stages still look pretty damn good even to this day. Why did I... Okay, I straight up thought I was playing Double Dash, so I did not hold the A button at 2. I, I was like, ooh, I got a hill right at the end. Push the button, right it go, but no. Okay, anyway. Uh, we're playing Wii. We're playing Mario Kart Wii. And dude, this is a very solid track. Looks pretty damn good. I mean, it looks literally the same as the GameCube one. Ayo, Peach Beach at night. Once again, this is another one that's already a remake in Mario Kart Wii. So, I like that they're changing up a little bit here. Hold on, is the pipe thing? Okay, I don't see a pipe. Because I don't know, I don't know if that pipe uh, shortcut or whatever was still there from uh, the GameCube. Look at the starry sky. Like, it genuinely looks so nice. I should have just held on to the mushroom. Okay, I really want to catch... There's five laps? Why? Why is there five laps on this one? <laughs> like that... Oh, damn! Double duty! Well, kind of. I mean, Toad kind of just avoided the blue shell a little bit, but... Oh, boy. Oh, boy! Okay, oh my god, that was close. Now, Baby Park. Okay, I was wondering if I was going to go for the Mario Kart 8 remake or not, but... I'm fine with the original. I kind of like the original more in some ways. It's weird, because I definitely like how it looks in Mario Kart 8, but there's just something about the original that's just, you can't remake it. A few moments later. Damn, bro, fourth place. <laughs> it's about to be worse. Oh my God. Make it stop. Jeez, oh my God. Oh my God. God damn. Wow, Baby Park really did not want me to win that one. Jesus. Now, dry, dry desert. Ooh, I actually like the sand texture a lot. Sand texture looks pretty solid. I'm curious if the uh, tornado is going to be in here or not. Can I trick off this? Oh, hell yeah, baby. Let's go. That's sick. I love that they thought of that. Oh, they put a thwomp in the middle. Okay. Interesting idea. Uh, the Wigglers are a lot easier now. Well, okay, I say that, but there's like twice as many, so I don't know. Yeah! Damn. I thought I could get around it. I'm pumped for some Mushroom Bridge. This is one of my all-time favorite Double Dash tracks. Okay, why is there two Wigglers on the road? I just missed the boost again. I keep thinking I'm actually playing Double Dash. Oh my god, okay. Wow, Remix is really, really great. Ooh. Ooh, me gusta. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Time to get big. Take that stupid car. Oh, I love that we can go up here too. Da, 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 da. Let's go. It's still very scary. My God, dude, this remix is like so energetic. Woo! Oh boy, let's go. Yes. Wow. Okay, that was once again another really close call. Okay, now Mario Circuit. This once again was already in uh, Mario Kart Wii, so it can be pretty much the same thing. When I say pretty much, I mean it's gonna quite literally be the same track. Dun 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 dun. Hell yeah, baby, let's go! Dude, it's so satisfying when you hold on to the boo, and it's just like, oh yeah, that's right. Now it's time to get big. All right, Daisy Cruiser, based off the Mario Kart 7 version. It's pretty awesome. I'm guessing we can go through the pool thingy. Even though we technically shouldn't go in water, I'm doing it anyway. Alright, how is the pattern? Okay. 
The table pattern seems normal. Yeah, this stage actually works pretty damn well with uh, Mario Kart Wii's engine. Although, honestly, I do kind of like the Mario Kart 8 version more. Like, it's hard to say, because that one really didn't do much besides really spruce up the graphics. I don't know. I really like how that one looks a lot. Like, this one looks nice, too. It's classic Daisy Cruiser. You can't really go wrong with it, but... Go ahead and check this out, though. Yeah, this is exactly like Mario Kart 7's. Now, Waluigi Stadium. Will it be the Mario Kart 8 one? No, it's morning! Oh, wow. Gotta get up nice and early. Ah, get my cup of coffee. Run over to the derby, hear a lot of screaming, go deaf, and then by the time it's 3 p.m., you go to your car, you get a sandwich, you come back to the derby, and, uh, yeah, that, that's the whole day. Fun day, all right. I don't know what the hell that was all about. I mean, that, that not, definitely was not an experience I've had before. Anyway, I'm doing really bad. I got really distracted by uh, the, that, that fantastic story I was sharing. Oh, cool, the plants are blue now. I will say, though, honestly, like, the Mario Kart 8 remake of this stage is actually fantastic. I really, really like what they did with it. Like, this is also pretty good. So, of course, this comes from Mario Kart Wii, so I have really nothing to say about it. But, um, I really like the remake a lot in Mario Kart 8. You know what? This looks pretty damn solid. Basically the same as the original. Uh, it does look like some stuff was touched up, which is nice. But, um, yeah, it's basically the same as the original. Even the Shy Guys move in a very similar pattern. They're a lot smaller, which I can kind of appreciate, because, I mean, they were freaking huge in the original game. Made them hard to avoid. They're a little bit smaller now, but... Uh, okay, thank you. I'm just going to go backwards and get an item. You know what? Screw it. Give me this item box. I want it. I wanted two of them. Excellent. Okay. Now I'm going to play for real. Okay. Um, we're somehow maybe squeezing, like, third, second... Second, A, squeezing out second. Now, Mushroom City, absolutely fantastic track. Always adored this one. It is very hard. That's why I like it, though. It's a lot of fun. Tons of different routes. Looks amazing. I mean, it looks, again, basically the same. I've, I have noticed that about the GameCube tracks in this mod. Most of them didn't really go for, like, upgrades. They basically just all look the same. It's going to be really interesting, though, once we get to, like, Mario Kart 7 and 8 just to see, like, how much they had to, like, demake the tracks. Do I go this way? The answer is yes. Let's do it. This is slower, though. You know what? I've actually never attempted this route because it's too scary in Double Dash. So next time if I have a mushroom, I'm going to do it for sure. Oh! Mm, I'm so tired of getting flattened. I am not a pancake. Nor am I a waffle. Let's finish strong. Don't take the right path. That is very slow. We don't like that. Bottom, bottom, bottom. Look at the wiggler jamming. And I'm gonna throw the banana. Okay, Yoshi Circuit. This is another one that's been remade a ton of times. Oh, it's winter! Oh, okay, I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it until now. That's awesome. I love that. That's so sick. A winter version. I mean, like I said, we've seen a lot of remakes of this. This is a, a pretty nice take of it. Now, I want Winter DK Mountain. That would actually be incredible. Or Nighttime. Hey, you know what? I'll take Nighttime. Because once again, this was also Mario Kart Wii Vanilla. This is a very nice spin on it. I like it. Now, what's it going to look like at Nighttime? Oh, that's so cool. I like this kind of like Hawaiian-ish remix. Mario, relax. The second I wheel... Dude, I hate wheeling. I know you're supposed to wheelie every time... You're not turning, but god damn it, I always slow down somehow when I'm wheeling. I get bumped into something, bumped into someone. I feel like it's just not worth it. Now, how in the hell has Nintendo never remade Wario Coliseum? I mean, come on, this track is freaking sick. They didn't even change anything here, because they didn't need to. This track is awesome. Nintendo, remake the goddamn track already. Yeah, this one plays pretty well, too. Now, does it still have the epic jump? Ooh, they added flames! Oh, that's actually so cool. Ah! Okay, that was a little scary. We're fine. Yeah, let's do it again. Ah! Don't hit the thing! Thank you. Can we catch up? Maybe. Depends on our item. No, 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 no! I do not agree with that funky Kong. I should not have tricked. He tripped. No! Yeah! Trip! Hit the box! Now, Dino Dino Jungle. Good track. Based off of Mario Kart 7, it looks like. I like that. 
Oh, dude, the percussion is kicking right now. Okay, water bad. This is not Mario Kart Tour. Do not trick off water. It will not work. Let's go ahead and try this route out. Alright, nice. It's the same. Well, actually, I feel like that, that, uh, that road's a little bit bigger. A little bit wider, but not by much. Now, Bowser's Castle. Once again, how has Nintendo never remade this one? This one is so freaking good. Such a good track. I'm excited to play it. And look, I don't even want anything changed. I mean, it's it's perfect as it is. It really does not need any changes at all. Take that, idiot. Okay, I'm the idiot for not holding on to my shell, apparently. Wow, this one is really, really well done. I mean, it is spot on the same in like every way. Oh, cool, red shell, or blue shell. There's probably a red shell out there, but not right now. Well, what's that? What's that orange thing? I want the orange thing. What was that? Oh, they added the um, the, the Bowser's Castle Wii things. The little volcano things that just pop up. That's cool. I'm so scared. Like, I want to take that shortcut, but, like, I never remember the strat. I think a mushroom would probably make it, but I don't know. Okay. No boost this time. That's so weird. What is that orange ring? I've never seen that before. Okay. Well, you know what? I got nothing to lose. Let's go for the shortcut. Woo! Okay, that was not as big of a jump as I thought it'd be. Ha! Are you kidding me, dude? I have never hit the lava until right now. I... It's so easy to avoid the lava. That was like the one frame that it decided to open up and smack me to our uh, final GameCube course. Which is Rainbow Road. Well, how did you guess that? You got you guessed Rainbow Road too? Well, guess what? It's what it always is. It's always the same thing. Wow, so predictable. Always gotta pick freaking Rainbow Road at the end. Alright, here we go. This actually Oh my god! <laughs> Hella airtime! <gasps> they oh! Oh, they added a half pipe here! Yo, that's so cool! Ba bum ba bum! Oh my god, the remix! Oh, come on. I don't want... I want to listen to it. Get out of the stupid lightning. Like, I'm, I'm just enamored by the... Look at this. Look at this big-ass half-pipe section. Why is it so long? I love how long it is. This might be my favorite track. Like, I don't know if it's objectively, like, the best thing I've played so far, but this is, like, the most fun I've had playing a track, I think. Like, adding the half-pipes, it works, but it also doesn't because it wastes so much time. If it could somehow waste less time, that would be great. But it just doesn't. It's just for styling. It's literally just for styling. Oh, and I suppose it's only two laps, too. I mean, this is kind of long. They made this track a lot bigger. Which I think was necessary so that you could actually trick off of, like, the ramps. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, you know what? Honestly, that was my favorite track I played in this mod. That was amazing. I want to play it again. That's how much fun it was. Now, unfortunately, this looks basically the same. Nothing was redone. There's no winter mode, no autumn, no day, no morning. It's just regular ass, plain as a bagel, figure eight circuit. Nothing else to it. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. It feels weird playing this track, and I'm not playing as Dry Bones in my Dry Bomber, and I'm not snaking. Um, instead, I'm I'm Professor Bowser in 12th place. That's That's instead what's happened. It's a little unfortunate, but thankfully, I guess we'll catch up a little bit here. That's cool. All right. Oh, hell. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a little little broken. Look at that. Absolute gaming. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. I just like the song. I'm sorry. It's also still so weird to me that um, this, this track never got a remake in Mario Kart 8. Like, it's literally figure eight circle. This would have been perfect for a remake. It's like the very first retro track. I don't know why. Maybe they thought it was too boring. It is strange. Like, this is a surprisingly dull track for Mario Kart standards. It really is. Especially when I can't snake with Dry Bones using the Dry Bomber. Then it's extra boring. Anything else? Lightning? Another blue shell? I'm open for options. Anything else? Okay, maybe not. Now, Yoshi Falls, raining. Which is great, because of course this is already in Mario Kart Wii normally. So now we got some nice rain. Feel like we're gonna get a freaking mudslide out here. Look at this. Absolutely gonna get a mudslide. And as usual, absolute banger remix of a song, too. Ayo? 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 Ah! It was close. It actually wasn't close at all. I I thought maybe I could get him with the boo, but nah. Woo! Oh boy! 
damn it. Why does this track have five laps? I don't feel like any track should ever have more than three. Like, especially for a track like this. Like, yeah, I get that it's pretty short, but like, just make the scale bigger. If you want to have like a certain length of time, you know? Dude, who the hell? How is Funky Kong like four years ahead of me? Now, Cheap Cheap Beach, this one's just straight up remake. It might be like Mario Kart 8's. Kind of looks like it, but not really. I mean, parts of it are similar. All right, music absolutely kicking off with a bang. Okay, yeah, this kind of reminds me of the Mario Kart 8 remake a little bit. <gasps> Ooh, look at the sky. Oh, that was so cool. It was like pink northern lights. Oh, that's so cool. I just want to look at that. This track is incredible at nighttime. This is what I'm saying. Like, I know I've already brought it up, but seriously, the next Mario Kart, there should be seasons for some of the tracks instead of just, like, one. Because there's only Animal Crossing. I like the idea of having, like, multiple seasons for, like, one track. Not that much extra effort either. Literally just, like, change the backdrop, change a few of the, the textures and stuff in the stage, and that's it. This stage has been, like, surprisingly stripped down, too. There's not really... Um, I mean, there's still ramps, right? But um, at the end, it feels a bit more stripped down, I guess. I, like, legit just don't even want to play the game. I just want to go here. Like, this looks like a great vacation spot. Look at this. They even have boulders. I bet there's boulders underwater. There's a big old boulder right there. Oh, I just realized we get to play Rock Rock Mountain at some point. <gasps> Ooh, the best stage. The best stage, Rock Rock Mountain. No! Ah, okay, thank you. Now, DS Luigi's Mansion. Dude, I love this. It's uh, very reminiscent of actually the original one, not even the Mario Kart 7 one. Because the Mario Kart 7 one changes like the inside like uh there's like different paintings and stuff uh this is literally just the gamecube mansion right here so that's pretty awesome yeah this is sick wonder if anything else has been changed i feel like it's basically the same as the ds one okay it does have the ramp okay so maybe i was wrong maybe this is a lot more like the mario kart 7 version i mean they're basically the same there's just like minute differences inside the mansion itself you know what let's take the ramp for fun gonna be weird to not glide off of this yeah, okay, that's very awkward. <laughs> I Like, it's so weird taking, like, what would normally be a gliding ramp in this game, and you just don't glide. Like, you just go whatever direction you're in. So I'm, like, not used to having to, like, have to basically plan ahead on where my alignment's going to be. It's totally different. Ooh, that was not a great turn. Actually, you know, that, that buffed out. Actually buffed out quite nicely. Ah! Okay, you know what? That's fine. Dry Bowser? King Boo? I think I gotta go Samurai Donkey Kong. Now, Desert Hills, I believe, was already in Mario Kart Wii. Yo, and Nighttime! Hell yeah! I love that they did this. This is so nice. I'm almost wondering if they, like, changed, like, the original Wii tracks as well. Just, like, retextured them in small ways. Like, this isn't a huge change, but, like, it's different enough to where I'm like, okay, this is kind of cool. I'm excited to play it. God damn it. I, I was a little worried about that. Okay, we can at least save a lot of time here. Just kidding. We're going to lose our freaking mushrooms. Come on, can I just stop? I freaking hate the pal block. It's so annoying. Come on, dude! Every time I get a goddamn item, the freaking pal block shows up. You know what? At least the fireball guys look cool. They're not orange. That nice radiant yellow. That is... They do actually look pretty neat. God, yeah, that's right. F*** all of you. God, I'm so tired of getting smashed by lightning and bullshit like that. Look at that. That's right. I'm taking it home now. God. Bro, what is it with the item spam? It's just random if you're going to place well or not. It's so weird because, like, there sometimes it just doesn't happen. You know, the item spam isn't that bad. It feels fairly balanced. But then there's, like, right now where it's just so freaking annoying. Or it's like every three seconds something happened. Look at that, another red shell. I mean, I knew that one was coming. The guy had three reds, but like, god damn. Please give me something. Yes! No! I could have redeemed myself and I messed it up. Oh god, that was so bad. Oh my, come on! Jesus! Wow, the game really wanted to be mean that time. Oh, this is gonna be nighttime? That'll actually be awesome. Oh, it's just original. Well, hopefully in the future someone makes like a nighttime or like a festive one or something. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Yeah, not much to say because uh, this is already in the original. It's Delfino Square again. It's a great track. Not really much different about it. Dude, I really like his icon on the map. DK's icon, he looks so goofy. Hey, see, that's fine. I'm not upset about that because that's the first time this has happened. 
It hasn't been constant lightning, blue shell, red shell, pal block spam. If it's like every once in a while, that's okay. There's a balance to everything. Now, I don't know how you mess up Waluigi Pinball. I don't think you can. I am curious, though, if the item rowlet sound is going to be different. Kind of doubt it, but that'd be crazy if it is. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Oh, the song is slapping. Nope, it is not the uh, the pinball-specific item rowlet sound effect. Not the end of the world, but that would have been a nice touch. I honestly like that it follows the DS one more. I've always liked the DS one a little more than Mario Kart 7s. I'm very amused by just DK sound effects. I, I do kind of like it. It is amusing. Like, I never play as Donkey Kong, so I'm not used to this much monkey oofs and offs. It's more than I can almost handle. Although, I guess it's a weird thing to say because I play as Funky Kong most of the time. Ah, oh my god! Woo! Damn, that cannonball was so close. Or the pinball, I should say. Dude, I cannot... What the hell? The freaking bumpers just go away from that? What are they skinned over? Oh, that's so... I think they're skinned over, um, maybe pokies or something. Because pokies have that same effect. God damn... Dude, I'm in freaking second place overall. Because of that desert hills. Mario Kart 8... So it's based off Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Funny enough, it kind of looks better. I feel like it's going to look better than Mario Kart 8. Because the version of Mario Kart 8 just looks very bland. Okay, I, okay, actually, this is pretty bland looking too. But this is on uh, the Wii, so it has more of an excuse. Whereas Mario Kart 8 had no excuse to not texture its grass. This game does, because it's on the Wii. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Oh boy, that was close. Dude, I'm so tired of the bloop. The blooper does nothing to enhance the game. You know, this is honestly a pretty solid remake. I have not gotten a mushroom, so I haven't been able to try out the new stuff, unfortunately. But I imagine they work, and it's fun to do. Nice. Thank you, birds. Damn birds hiding the banana. All right, here we go. Speaking of birds, bird is about to pass me, but not for long. God, I want to go for the jump. It's not going to work, though. Oh, my. Hot damn, this looks nice. Dude, this looks really good. It kind of reminds me of the Mario Kart Tour version a little bit. But I'd argue this looks better than even a Mario Kart Tour. Definitely looks better than the Mario Kart 7 remake. This looks really cool. It's very interesting to see this level without all the fog. Now, the real question is, is does the question mark still give you um, stars and mushrooms? It gives you one mushroom. You know what? Fair enough. That's a lot more fair. Wow, this one's good. This one's really fun. And you know, it's a good length, too. Like 49 seconds for one lap, that's pretty good. Music is great, too. I've been impressed with basically all the music. Like, pretty much all of it is remakes. I mean, there's been a couple that have just been, like, you know, ported over or whatever, but most of them are remade. I need to start playing his DK more. I just want to listen to them be excited for 20 seconds in a row. Ooh, this is different. Okay, the Mario Kart 8 version of TikTok Clock. Actually, very curious how this one's going to go down. Because this one is fairly different from on the DS. I think it's just the Mario Kart 8 mix. Oh, weird. Hold on. Oh, this is definitely different. It's like a weird blend of, like, DS assets and also, like, recreating Mario Kart 8 assets. It feels a lot more faithful to um, the DS one, I would say, even though it's technically a Mario Kart 8 remake. Oh, that was fun. It's weird that the uh, the hands don't move. It's really about it. That's the only thing that I would critique. Maybe have the hands move if you're to update the track. That's about it. Otherwise, I mean, it looks pretty good. Uh, I'm dead. Yep. It's okay. I want to get rid of the blooper ink anyway. It's hard to get an inked on. Also, another weird thing I noticed is that the rotations do not, like, change. They don't change directions at all. It's always the same. I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, it's not really that big of a deal, but just a weird thing I've just noticed. Ooh, ooh this looks pretty nice, too. I mean, it says it's a remake, but I mean, it's pretty close to the original. Some of, like, the, the banners on the right are a little different. I don't know what else is going to be different here. And the Goombas are still just walking. I somehow ran into one. I guess this tunnel's a little bit different. I mean, there's no... Oh, no, okay. The plants are still there. They aren't spinning fire, but there are plants there. So, yeah, this is very, very similar to the original. I mean, I don't know if I'd even call this a remake. I guess technically it is. There, there is enough things that are different, but it's so, like, little. I guess, like, the textures themselves do look a lot nicer. Although, I definitely prefer the Mario Kart 8 version. I like how you just go into a forest, there's a random wiggler that shows up, it's great. It's a nice change of pace, it really, it honestly is. 
Excellent timing. Oh, great. Oh, cool. Excellent. Still, though, not really annoyed. It's like, hey, sometimes that happens. But at least it wasn't getting spammed at the whole freaking race. It was just at the end. Mario Kart 7's Airship Fortress. I don't really remember the differences between DS and Mario Kart 7 for this one. I guess we'll find out. Well, the bullets are different. I remember the bullets were, I think, bigger on the DS. Beyond that, I don't really know. I don't think it's much. The bridge is very bright. God damn. Yeah, this looks pretty much the same as it does on DS. Not much different here. Out of the way, idiot. Not as much to say about this one. I think it's a combination of, like, this is the same track, not much has changed, and I've just been playing for a very long time. That's about it. Of course. Of course he jipped me at the end. Now, DS, Wario Stadium. Of course, we all know it got a remake in Mario Kart 8. Uh, this one's just based off the original, though. Not something I thought I'd ever see. No, actually, I think I have played a mod of this before, but I have no idea which game. This is actually very faithful. Okay, you cannot trick there. That's probably a good thing. Some big tricks off of this, though. Yeah, it looks nice. I mean, I like the Mario Kart 8 one just because it tries something so different. But it also just, like, doesn't really feel like Wario Stadium because it's so different. So that does make, you know, remakes like this really nice. It's just a really good upscale. Textures have been redone. They look a little bit better. Basically, Wario Stadium here. Oh, it's nighttime! Yes! I'm, well, I'm getting so excited about literally just the, the time of day changing. It's just so refreshing because we've played these tracks so many freaking times. I, I have, especially. Like, my god, I have played so much of Mar the Mario Kart games. So it's like, oh, cool! This, this little change is, like, huge to me. And this, this stage is awesome in this game. I really like Peach Gardens. It's way better than Mario Kart 8, because, like, Mario Kart 8s, they really simplified a lot of things way too much. Like, yeah, they have the whole backwards thing, you go in reverse, I guess that's neat, but it's really not that interesting. Like, it, it, it would be more interesting if um, they made the gardens the same, they still made them a little bit more intricate. Because now it's like they don't even get in the way, they aren't a problem at all, you don't even think about it. So it's like the one bit of uh, obstacle was just removed from Mario Kart 8. So it is refreshing to play this remake on Wii. I mean, of course, this wasn't the original, but like, still, it, it's, it plays like the DS one, which is great. Ah, okay, that was close. All right, uh, just give me one decent item and then we can probably squeeze this out. That's a decent item, okay. Orberto's just stupid, that works too. Now, I freaking love DS Bowser Castle. Again, it's so shocking, like, how few of these Bowser Castles have been remade. Like, how has this one never gotten a remake? I love it. I feel like it's super underrated. Like, no one really talks about the DS one, but I've always enjoyed it a lot. Just the track design is so interesting and dynamic. Like, it is constantly changing. Like, this whole segment, there's nothing like this in, like, any other Mario Kart track. And then you got this crazy section. You're just, like, you got to basically drift across this along the, the wall of the castle. And then there's this freaking thing coming up. God damn, I'm getting, I'm getting, losing pretty bad. But then you got this whole thing. Never seen this ever again. Like, there's a lot of really cool parts of this track that are just, like, never really used again. So let's bring it back. I'm, I'm sure it will get remade eventually, but still. Remake it now. You know what? This segment's faster because you go so slow now. Yeah, going on this side is usually a little bit slower, I think, but... Because you go so slow on the uh, the rotating cylinder thing, yeah, I think the left side's the better option. So this remix is so good. I know I've said that for all of them, but like, oh, mm, fantastic timing, absolute primo timing on the lightning. You like, you also get an item box here. Yeah, you know what? That's the side is better in this particular mod. Dude, I want to try this. Um, I want to try falling and see what's down there, but I really don't want to lose. Oh God. Oh, I might anyway. Oh, okay. We're fine. And now for the last DS course, it's Rainbow Road again. Wow, can't believe it. I've never been that big of a fan of it. Like, it's fine. Like, it's just fine. It's really not that interesting, though. Doesn't do anything that crazy. I do like the whole loop and the corkscrew. That's cool, but I don't know. It really, it just doesn't feel crazy like a lot of the other ones do. This part is cool, though. What the? Huh? What happened there? Oh, this is a problem. What the hell? Am I ever going to get past this? <laughs> what the f***? I feel like maybe this wasn't tested. Am I doing something wrong? 
that's what you're supposed to do? Okay, I that I don't like that. Yeah, that's a problem. I mean, it is Mario Kart Wii. There are no loops in this game, but um, yeah, that's a big problem if that happens. I feel like that needs to be tweaked. But yeah, this should not be happening. What? What? How did I end up... I, I get what happened. I'm just shocked that it happened. Uh, okay. Um, I just want to clear one lap. If I can even do that, that would be great. Okay. We made it across the corkscrew. Oh, boy. Yeah. The, you know what? This track needs work. Um, this is the... I don't usually say that when it comes to mods. You know, I, I'm usually a lot easier on mods. Because uh, I know it's usually just like one or two people working on it. And they're just doing it for fun in their free time. But... Yeah, I don't know, man. This one just, uh, they, they got to do something about the loop. Like, if there's a way that they would be able to, like, lock in the character so they absolutely cannot fall, uh, that would be good. Or at the very least, just change, like, the camera? Yeah, screw it. Bullet bill time. Because, yeah, that, that, I should not be allowed to, um, fall from the corkscrew and then end up at the beginning of the stage somehow. It, it is amusing it happened. <laughs> don't get me wrong, but, uh, yeah. Bit of a dilemma. Well, I'll still finish it. Now that I've kind of figured out, I guess, what I'm supposed to do here, I still don't understand. I don't get it. I just fall. I don't know why I fall, but I just do. So, like, you, you kind of have to, like, use your shadow to get across that loop. Don't think that should be how you do it. I don't know how the hell I squeezed out 11th, considering I took four minutes. <laughs> well, honestly, that was the first track I would say wasn't great. All the others... We're pretty fun. A lot of the retro tracks have had slight differences. Like, this one has rain. It's Wii Luigi Circuit, the same thing. But you know what? It's raining now. Will it make the road slippery? Probably not. But, hey, it's different. Might as well try it out. You know what's got different music, too? I can appreciate that. That's very nice. You know, this is secretly, like, the hardest level. Like, if you're trying to get first in this level, it's so hard to do. Just the way that it's built. Oh, hell yeah. Boo time. Let's go. So weird to have Kirby music. <laughs> but you know what? I love it. Wait, five laps? Why is... I don't know why we're doing five laps. You know what? This honestly looks pretty neat with all the rain. It, it's really not that different. But just the fact that everything's a little bit darker. Um, you know, the rain itself, the darker clouds, the thunder clouds and stuff. It's nice. It's a nice change. <laughs> that knock was amazing, dude. Holy crap. He got absolutely bamboozled by the fake item box. The, the, the timing of that knock and the fact that it specifically went that direction, that will never happen again. Now, Moo Moo Meadows is going to be winter time. Oh, it's just based off Mario Kart 8. I'm glad that it's different. I'm, I'm very, very glad. I hope they're all a little different. I like the toad just standing there with his mouth open. Like, gotta love that toad. I'm excited to see him at the end of the lap. You know what? I like all the extra details. I don't know if I'd say it really looks like the Mario Kart 8 version, because that one's so similar. I mean, I, I like there's different textures, at least. That's kind of cool. I can't see the toad. Maybe the next lap. Ah! Oh, my God. Thank you, banana. All right. There he is. Now, Mushroom Gorge, I feel like we can do a nice night. Yeah! Now, nighttime is going to look freaking awesome with this one. I can already tell. Skybox looks incredible. Oh, the lighting. Oh, the lighting's so nice. Oh, the caves look so cool. The change in the color of the boost. Now, that's that's some content right there. Change in the color of the boost. It does actually, you know, work a little bit better since it's nighttime. Yeah, this is neat. Like, even the cave's a little bit darker. Toad's Factory Night. That's my prediction. Yes! At this point, it's getting predictable. They're basically all nighttime, but I'm fine with that. It'll look a little different. Can't really tell that much of a difference besides it just being darker. Okay, they changed the color of the stripes as well. Oh, now you can tell. Oh, hell yeah. Bro, it's 10 p.m. You're coming into work at the Amazon uh, warehouse, I guess. It's late. You can see the stars, but you got some lifting to do. So I guess that's enough Donkey Kong try out someone else. I really want to try some of the, like, lighter characters, but I cannot give up the Flame Runner. I just can't. Dry Bowser? Sure, we'll, we'll go Dry Bowser. Why not? Will this be at night as well? Oh, it's, it's just the original. Okay. Well, I'm really not going to have anything to say. It's just Mario Kart Wii 
in Mario Kart Wii. Not a remix, not a remake, not a port. It's it's just Mario Kart Wii. Well, okay, the music's different. The music decided to go all disco on us. Ho 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 Messed up that chain chomp. Well, that was kind of fun. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> Woo! Okay. Well, I got very screwed over at the end. Oh, oh? Big catch-up moment? Bowser? You want to slow down? No, he doesn't. Now, I'm very curious what we're going to do with the Coconut Mall. So, this is the Mario Kart 8 one? Oh, it's nighttime! Not just the- but, like, the inside is nighttime. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. Why did I go the wrong way? I don't know why I went that way, but let's go through the exit. You know why I'm doing it? I think that's the pattern for the Mario Kart 8 version. <laughs> And, and, you know, recently I played a lot more of that one than uh, the actual Wii version. God, this track is still just so freaking good. Oh, the buildings are all lit up. Now that's lit. Excuse me. I cannot see a goddamn thing. I hate the blooper so much. Bro, I'm so tired of the goddamn POW block. Every time I have freaking mushrooms, it goes off. I'm going the wrong way again. That was... I, I definitely could have made it. You know how cool it would be to, like, go to a mall at nighttime, though? Just like a Halloween kind of mall thing. That would be sick. Go. Oh my god, I don't have my mushroom. Oh my god! I am getting absolutely coconut mauled. Wow, I'm surprised the power block didn't get rid of my mushroom. Okay, that's fine. This is one of those uh, races where it's like, let's just spam all the items. Doesn't happen that often, but when it does, it, it goes off. There's been a lot of crap happening in this particular race. I'm ready for like four more blue shells, a few more lightnings, uh, maybe a couple POW blocks. Somehow got first after all of that. I don't know how. We have the summit. Will it be nighttime? Well, Mario Kart Tour. Mario Kart Tour is also a neat I mean, Mario Kart Tour is... I actually don't remember if it's at night. I mean, it takes place during the day, I would think. It's cool that they're going with this one. This is actually just a lot like Mario Kart 8's. Yeah, I really like the lighting a lot. The lighting is super good in this one. This is still the most satisfying game to play DK Summit in. Like, it's fun in Mario Kart 8, don't get me wrong. But the way turns work and the way this bike works in this game is just perfect. It's built so well for it. Ah! I got the skip. Kind of. I mean, it was like half getting... I mean, I did technically get it, but... That was fun. No nonsense. No 5,000 blue shells. Just pure racing. Nighttime? It's just the original. All right. You know, a nighttime version of this would have been really damn neat. I mean, they'd be neat for most of them. But, like, this one in particular? Because, like, you know, coal mining is generally a job you do, like, in the dark. It would have been kind of cool. That was so bad. Wow, I haven't played this version in a while. Oh, I just realized how far ahead I am. Holy crap. Guess I'll be fine for this one. Now, Wee Daisy Circuit. What do we got here? A nighttime? I like the nighttime for this one. I know, that's like basically all I've been saying, but it's like, what else am I going to say here? I mean, really, it's it's the same tri What the hell? Oh no, my controller again. No. What's going on, controller? Okay, had a controller malfunction. We're going to restart, I guess. Right in the middle, which means let's switch characters, because why not? Gotta go a hiker Wario, of course. Dude, it's so weird to see, like, so many boats when it's like, you know, it's kind of implied that it's winter time too. Well, maybe not. I don't know, but I guess not. It does feel like it, this should also be winter themed as well as nighttime. Yeah, this one's cool. But yeah, there's really not much else to say. They added different music. There's nighttime. That's about it. And I'm playing as Hiker Wario. Doesn't get much better than this. Are you goddamn kidding, man? It took. It was so hard to catch up to Mario, and immediately as I pass him, blue shell. Now Koopa Cape probably be nighttime. It's not. Ooh, I like the music, though. I think the music comes from Mario Kart 8. No, I think it's from something else, actually. Ah, uh, the most controversial thing about this stage. Which tube section is the best? Is it Mario Kart Wii's, Mario Kart 7's, 2's, or 8's? Everyone seems to agree that it's Wii's, but some people say it's not. I actually definitely like this tube version the best out of all of them. Like, it, it makes it the most interesting compared to all the other ones. Oh, hell yeah. Now I get to be big. Let's go. That was Koopa Cape. Please be different. I want nighttime. I want winter. Cherry! I'll take cherry! I will take anything. Actually, that's such a great idea to, like, remix the stage. Like, yeah, nighttime would be nice, but you know what? No. Change the leaves. 
Change to some nice, beautiful little cherry blossoms. Now, that's what I'm talking about. Look at those leaves. Look at those leaf piles. We got some pink, baby. Dude, pink is actually such a sick color, though. Like, no joke. It's just, it's just such a great color. Ah! Dude, I thought I was going to jump over the wiggler there. I'm not even going to... I was like, okay, yeah, we're about to actually jump over him somehow. Oh, look at all those pink trees. That's a nice touch. I do like that a lot. There goes my red shell. Dude, that green almost got Mario. Holy crap. Damn, this stage is still great in this game. Plays really, really well. Ah, no, not on that. I don't agree with that. Oh my god, bro, come on. No, I'm gonna get squished. Okay, maybe not. I'm so... Why the item spam at the end? Okay, at least he fell somehow. Jesus. What? Okay, okay, I was not expecting this. It is no longer Grumble Volcano. It's more like Grumble Lake. This is actually a very, very surprising aesthetic. Look at that. They even got ships out there. The volcano's finally erupted and calmed down. Now there's just water. This is a very, very cool uh, idea when it comes to, like, retexturing this track. Yeah, I love all this water. Like, it is kind of incredible how this one change changes, like, the entire feel, like, completely. Just like how it feels to play the track, I should say. I almost wonder if, if, um, if you even, like, change the music a little bit. Like, obviously, same beat, but you use a lot more string instruments, make it a little more soothing and calm. This would be, like, a really cool, like, lake, hot water kind of location. Honestly, we've never really seen, like, a hot water spring anything in Mario Kart. Grumble hot water springs, or Grumble Springs, maybe. Come on. Get him! Oh, come on, that was so close! Maybe I can outrace him. Yes! Take that, idiot. Oh, it's not... No! No! Get, get up, get up, get me, like it too. Fast! Oh my god, he pulled me so far back. You idiot, what are you doing? Well, like it too messed it up. Okay. I was not expecting northern freaking lights in this one. I thought, oh yeah, nighttime makes sense. Let's completely change the color of the sand, which I love. Add some northern lights. Call it a day there. Absolutely fantastic. Damn, look at this. This is really, really cool looking. Don't die, don't die! I... Okay. Honestly, I almost would have preferred just going out of bounds there. Dude, I like, whenever I hear the electricity, I instinctively go away from it. When I really shouldn't. So that boo would be incredibly useful. Okay. I have no idea what's happening at this point. I'm just kind of going along. Ah, no, stop. I have no idea how I secure first. I really don't. Take that, loser! God, I love Wario. I just want Mario to say, like, Hey, you suck! Ha <laughs> ha! If Mario ever said that in Mario Kart, I don't think I'd be able to recover from, from laughing. Now, move your highway. Daytime. Day. Okay. <laughs> We're going full on. Whoa, hold on, hold on. Was that, was that Blue Toad's supremacy that I just saw? Okay, now I'm very curious. What the hell was that all about? Welcome to Detroit. Oh, boy. Apparently, Detroit's very blue. Yours? Get yours. Oh, it's like a robot. Okay. It's a, it's a model robot. That's pretty goofy. Ah! Okay, I, God, I kind of forgot that the, the cars actually are dangerous in this version. Like, this version is um, definitely better than Mario Kart 8. Like, Mario Kart 8 looks goddamn amazing, but the cars are way too generous. It's really my only critique of Moonview Highway. This game, the cars don't mess around. God, I need to get that model. The KO 700. I'll take uh, four of those, please. Why do I need four? I don't know. You never know when you need three backups, though. I guess I could check out the top of this area. Why not? It looks basically the same. Okay, that's what I get for exploring. Hey, Toad! I hate you. Just wanted to let you know I hate you after you did that. Oh! Oh! Okay, I'll take it! Bowser's Castle. How will this one be different? Daytime? Winter! Oh, let's go. Okay, so everything will be blue. You know what? I'd actually love to see Nintendo do, like, a winter-themed Bowser's Court. Like, I think they could do some really damn cool things with that. Like, have, like, Bowser statues throw big-ass snowballs or something to drive through, like, a really dark, creepy snow cave or something like that. Like, there's a lot you could do, I think. Yeah, this looks sweet. It really is just a palette swap. I mean, the background does look fairly different, but most of it's just a palette swap. But you know what? I like blue fire. Look at that. Look at those blue spews of flames. 
And technically, blue flames are hotter than red, if you want to be scientifically accurate. Blue is the hottest color, I, I think. Is that a blue or, or white? Maybe white is technically hotter. And I think white suns are hotter than blue suns. There you go. Fun science fact for you. Share it with your grandma. Oh, that was fantastic. Fantastic timing. Oh, wow! Can I please take the goddamn ramp? How am I still in first after all that? Oh, boy. This game's really just throwing everything at me right now. It's okay. We're conquering, though. It's a lot, you know, it's a lot easier to stay in first when I'm actually familiar with the track. <laughs> or, like, familiar with it in this particular game. Like, I know the angles that I need to be going for and stuff. So it does make it a lot easier than just doing a sight read on every single track. I really hope that it's something crazy with Rainbow Road. Does it take place in the clouds? Inverted! Okay, that's actually very fascinating. Potentially. Is it just the colors are inverted? The, is the track inverted? I'm not really sure. Oh, sh here we go. Okay, I think it's like the colors are inverted. Okay, sure. Well, it's nothing crazy, but it's still a good-ass Rainbow Road. Still one of the best. Dude, I gotta say, the quality is so high in this mod, outside of, like, that one DS Rainbow Road, that I've honestly kind of forgot this was made by just, like, fans and not by Nintendo. I just feel like I'm playing a Nintendo game. Like, that that should be... I, I want it to be, like, of the highest compliment, because, like... Modding has gotten so freaking good. Like, when I started to make videos, you know, a few years ago, mods were pretty hit and miss, but now it's like, nowadays, all mods are at least good. Like, nothing bad or mediocre. So many of them are just fantastic. It's really, really crazy to see just how much the modding community is, like, how far it's come. Especially with this game. Mario Kart Wii, goddamn, they've been doing mods for this game for, like, over a decade now. One of the most deep uh, modding communities for a Nintendo game, besides maybe, like, Mario 64. Oh, boy. God damn, this track is still so good. Like, I don't think this Rainbow Road will ever age. It's just that freaking good. You know what? That was surprisingly fun. I thought it was gonna be a slog to play the Wii tracks, but you know what? They did enough to make them different. A lot of nighttime things, a lot of really cool texture changes, and, of course, starting with 3DS Toad Circuit. Ah, yes, I love 3DS Toad Circuit. Random addresses and stuff. Oh, perfect. Hmm, okay, weird. There we go, got it working. And just by looking at the grass, well, we can't really see it yet, but I saw a little preview of it. Gotta be honest, it looks even better, or it looks a lot better than what's in Mario Kart 8, which is pretty damn sad. I mean, look at that. This grass actually textured. Now, it doesn't look incredible by any means, but like, it really is a shame that there's a, a small handful of Mario Kart 8 DLC that just looks like absolute garbage compared to this. Don't squish me. No, 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 no. Stay away. Okay, I think we're fine. Okay, my only, my only, god damn it, dude. Jesus Christ. Can I have some invincibility frames? Uh, the only thing I'd really say about this track that it could use is just the ramp. Because there's that ramp that usually opens in the middle. Uh, that's really about it. That's the only thing I'd want to see. That's goddamn bull. If I had something that wasn't a freaking fake item box, I would not have gotten ninth place. I would have gotten second. No, I'm not, I, I feel you. I feel you, Funky Kong. Now, DS Hills, this actually looks really good, too. I'm impressed. Wow, this track looks very, very good. I mean, it looks like it was directly ported from Mario Kart 7. Oh, there's the goats. The infamous goats. Oh, crap. You know, honestly, what they did with the glider section, I kind of like more in this game. And I'm pretty sure I played a mod that was very similar to this. I think it was in... I can't remember which mod it was. Maybe it was Mario Kart Wii. I don't remember. But basically, you just get launched forward instead of gliding. And I kind of liked it more than the gliding. God, I'm so tired of the red shells. So after... Okay, here's the thing. Uh, after I was playing this... Let's take a break from playing this at one point. Um, I played Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. And guess what? I was able to turn off the freaking blooper, because the blooper is just an annoying-ass item. I really wish you could do that in this game. Now, moving on to Cheap Cheap Lagoon. You may have noticed that my character texture is completely different. Well, I had a crash on this stage, so I'm just going with regular-ass characters now, regular skins. I'm sorry it's not as interesting, but the game that's just what the game wanted. I l okay. Just immediately get stopped by a sign and then flattened by Donkey Kong. 
What a way to start the morning, boys. How far? Oh my god, Wario's way up there. God damn. Man's cooking up there. Not anymore. Now it's my turn on the oven, idiot. Maybe. Maybe not. Okay, maybe not. All right, anyway, you know what? I'm happy with second. That's fine. I'll take it. So much stuff happened that race. I'm surprised I got second. Now, Shy Guy Bazaar. Once again, looks pretty much the same as it does on Mario Kart 7. Well, I think at this point, we're probably just going to get the actual songs instead of, like, remixes. Because it's like, they're pretty modern now. You know, there's a lot of instrumentation. They, they still sound really good. So, as long as we at least get the original song and not just something repeated from Mario Kart Wii, that would be awesome. Yeah, this one has very, very good flow. It was scaled perfectly. That is something I've talked about quite a bit. Um, scale uh, Tracks being scaled too big or too small. The scaling feels great. All right. Uh, what is next? Ooh, let's go. Woohoo loop. Hell yeah. Oh, I'm excited for this one. Yeah, I freaking love this track. This one's so good. Absolutely stunned it's never been remade. I mean, I know it's only, it's only <laughs> like, the seventh out of eight Mario Kart games currently, but still. How did this not get a remake in Mario Kart 8? At least we'll take the cool path, the alternate path. Actually, this is normally a uh, glider section. Oh, so, okay, they added like a whole... Oh, this is different. Oh, wow, that's that's a lot different compared to uh, how it usually is. Yeah, that was awesome. So, yeah, I think we, we kind of have a standard for the Mario Kart 7 tracks. They're all going to basically look the same as they did on the actual 3DS. Just a little higher res. Now, 3DS Mario Circuit. This one, I feel like, is fairly forgettable. Like, there is the segment where you, like, drive into the castle. That's, like, the only memorable thing. Everything else is just like, okay, it's Mario Circuit again. You know, we've seen a billion of these at this point. Yeah, this is another very solid recreation of the track. Which, I think we're going to be saying that for literally all the 3DS ones. Now, Music Park. Absolute banger of a track. Very curious to see how this one's going to be. Are we, are we going to actually hear the piano when we run over it? I kind of doubt it. That would be crazy, though, if we did. No, okay. It's going to say, because normally you hear a piano as you're going down the track, but, like, there's no way. I do, They got the head-bopping piranha plants. Okay, not bad. That's just a regular boost. Yeah, it makes sense. Oh, can you still... What the hell? Oh, it's, like, delayed now. Okay, I don't understand. Hold on. That section's way different now. Yeah, I don't get it. <laughs> I mean, it's like sometimes you get launched into the air from the music note, and then some. Then there's like a delay now? Why? I don't understand that. That's very confusing. I think what's happening is the bounce like starts in the middle of that section, and then it like spreads out? I think that's the intention, but it's really hard to tell. Now, Rock Rock Mountain is definitely going to feel very, very different. There's a huge, huge gliding section at the end of this tunnel. So we're probably just going to get launched into the ground, which is going to be very weird. It's like such a core part of the track. It's kind of like, it's going to have to be removed. Oh, the music still slaps, though. I also always forget this is in Mario Kart 8. Like, this is one of the more forgettable DLC tracks. They didn't do much to spruce it up. Oh, okay, you don't actually get launched. You just actually... Okay, you have full control. Now, the best part, the boulder part, baby. Oh, yes. Let's look at them. Oh, yeah. Oh, they made the boulders so small. Why do they make them so small? Why are they so small? Now, Piranha Plant Slide, another pretty legendary track. There's also a lot of intricate pieces to this one. So, it's going to be pretty interesting to see how they go about this. Does the plant move? It does not appear the plant moves. I think it's just there for decoration. Yeah, I do like the rushing water. You can actually feel the rushing water this time. It's, it's probably the same water from, like, Koopa Cave. Okay, the water does not appear to... Okay, the plant does actually function. Okay, that's awesome. All right, yeah, so this stage is, is very spot on. It's, like, really nothing different about it compared to Mario Kart 7. Woo! Oh, my God. Okay, oh, I should have been more on the left. God damn it. Dodge it! No! Oh, there's a mushroom, though. Oh, take the mush, take the mush. Yes, get the slide. No, the Goomba thing. G go, just go, go, go. Okay. Woo! Wow, that was close. Oh my god, that was close. All right, now Wario Shipyard. This is another really, really solid track. I would not be surprised to get this or see this get remade in like the next Mario Kart. This track is just awesome. 
And yeah, I mean, as you'd expect, looks pretty much the same. Oh, they even got the wind working. Oh, that's cool. This is the tricking working here. Oh, the tricking works on that too. Oh, that's sick. Okay, we'll try the right side this time if I don't bonk into it. Oh, this side's not okay. That side is uh, a bit more of a problem because he gets so much more air time. And we're going so much faster, too. Now, Neo Bowser City, I mean, again, looks pretty much the same as Mario Kart 7s. Um, kind of surprised they didn't go for the rain effect like they did with Mario Kart 8. But, you know, I think this looks fine, too. Well, no, that's not true. There's a little bit of rain right now. You just can't really see it. Oh, this turn feels incredible in this game. This is another one of those tracks that, like, makes sense with bikes. Like, you really need carts that can turn sharp for this track to, like, feel good. No more music. Oh, that's strange. And the music's returned. Good timing. Ah, good old Maka Woohoo. I always preferred this one over Woohoo Loop. I mean, they're both fantastic courses, but I feel like the level design's a lot more interesting in this one. Okay, good. We got the music back. All right. Man, this makes me want to actually play Wii Sports Resort, because I don't think... Well, I have... <coughs> I have played it, but it's been a very, very long time. And when I did play Wii Sports Resort, I did not do a lot of the gliding or the flying. Like, I tried it, but I didn't really explore the island that thoroughly. So it'd be kind of cool to, like, actually spend a good amount of time and, like, actually explore it all. The issue is taking the... Oh, hold on. This is really different. Okay, this is way different. Also kind of bullshit. I mean, I get why they did this, but also that's a little annoying. Okay, well, I would say Woohoo Loop definitely works better in Mario Kart Wii compared to Maka Wu, just because that ending, like, honest, you really need that to be a glider section. That doesn't really work not gliding. I don't anticipate this one to feel very different, honestly. I mean, this is a somewhat basic track. Oh, you know what? I'm actually really glad that they um, really widened those out. That was a good idea. Yeah, this has really good flow. I mean, that's pretty much what I expected. It's DK Jungle. Yeah, that was neat. And I've got Rosalina's Ice World. This one's just, I guess, a remake. Okay. I saw that new uh, Rosalina statue. Okay, I guess that's different. It actually looks like... Um, is it more similar to Mario Kart 2's version? I mean, it might be. Hard to say. I didn't... You know, I, I'm aware of, like, a large majority of the tracks in Mario Kart 2, but I do not remember how a lot of them look. I mean, this does kind of remind me... Actually, this is Mario Kart Tour, because this section, the road here, I don't think that's... Um, I don't think that's uh, not covered in snow in the original. Oh, sick. Dude, honestly, it would be kind of nice to avoid the water entirely. Well, I'll, I'll check it out in the last lap, but otherwise I don't really care for it. All right. Diving into the water this time. Woo! You know what? It doesn't feel as slow. And I think it's just because there's not really... It's not technically, like, you know, water sections. It's just, it's basically fake water. That's how they get it to work in this game. Because water usually slows you down or kills you in Mario Kart Wii. 3DS Bowser's Castle. Another fantastic Bowser's Castle track. I, mean, I feel like this will be very, very similar. But, yeah, we'll just have to see. I mean, there are, again, some very intricate pieces in this one. Okay, yeah. I mean, it's, it's playing pretty much exactly the same. Music still absolutely slaps. I mean, again, it just comes from Mario Kart 7. Yeah, that was great. I mean, definitely was missing a couple of things, but for the most part, it was very, very faithful to the original. And then, of course, ending things... Well, ending things for 3DS is Rainbow Road. Now, it looks like all the textures have been pulled exactly from Mario Kart 7. They did not go for the Mario Kart 8 textures, which makes sense. The Mario Kart 8 ones are ridiculously high quality. They would not work in Mario Kart Wii. So I am plenty happy with this. I'm always happy to play this game. Or uh, to play this specific track. Because it's the best Rainbow Road. Like, by far. Now, this section feels a little different. But it works very, very well. Like, I think they changed, like, the angles of uh, some of those pieces of road. Uh, do I want to boost here? Sure, I'll try it. Oh, my God. Okay, that is potentially an issue. Um, I'm really not sure why I didn't get across there. Okay, so this doesn't wave, but honestly, the fact that I can just trick off it a thousand times, it has the exact same effect. All right, here we go. Probably going to get launched. Yeah. Oh, that's sick. Yeah, it definitely does not look as good as Mario Kart 7. Like, the background looks a little bit worse, but it, it still feels the same. Saturn's rings, though, are freaking huge. Holy crap. Some big rings. Oh, that's cool. They added the Mario Kart Wii Star thing. 
Oh, no, 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 don't fall. Woo, that was close. Oh, here we go. Be a long ways down. Wow, I actually can race on this. Okay, the craters feel a little awkward. Admittedly, you get like a lot of air time for some reason. Like, I'm gonna be very critical of this track because I love the original so much. It's like, it's like impossible to top it. This is very, very good. There's just a couple of weird, quirky things about it. Oh, this looks cool. I don't know, okay, this looks very, very bizarre, but it looks really cool how they did that. And yeah, this section, obviously, we're just gonna have to like just drive normally. Oh, we can actually run into, okay, I mean, you can run into the boulders before, but they're actually kind of a problem now. And yes, I know they're meteors, but I'm calling them boulders. Makes me comfortable, okay? Ooh, we're gonna make it. Okay, wow, we actually got... How are we in first place after all that? We're just gonna have to pray that we don't get a red. That was great. Not a perfect recreation, but it was great enough that, like, I would definitely play that over and over again. Very solid. Now, out of all the tracks you played, I'm most curious about... <laughs> about these, because... You know, obviously, Mario Kart 8, much more sophisticated game than Mario Kart Wii. So, these are going to be all D-makes, and I'm going to be very, very intrigued to see how they go about the, uh, just the graphics in general, as well as the, uh, the gravity sections. Because I think the gravity sections aren't really going to be necessary for most of these tracks. Like, here, it's like, you don't really need the gravity. Now, this Mario render doesn't look great. I'm, I'm going to be real, it doesn't look great. But you know what? It's an incredibly detailed render uh, in the original game, so I don't... I guess maybe you can make something a bit more simpler. I don't know. But I would say, in general, this plays very, very well. Yeah, first lap. I mean, very, very smooth. A quick 30-second lap. You love to see it. I like when the laps aren't over a minute long. It's just going to be cool to be able to try all of the Mario Kart 8 maps in this game. It's like, because we've done, like, Mario Kart 8 maps in, I think, DS in the past. And maybe, like, other Mario Karts. I think, like, even Mario Kart 7. But having all of them in, like, one of the older ones is going to be really fascinating. Like, it's honestly impressive, like, how faithful this is to Mario Kart 8. Now, Water Park. We'll see how Water Park is. All right, so far, honestly, not bad. It's a little bit darker. That's, like, the main thing I'm noticing. It's just the lighting's darker. Dude, it's going to be so weird playing these tracks, too, without coins all over the ground. Oh, my God. Okay, classic Mario Kart Wii moment. Now, this is probably going to feel faster. Well, I did slow down a lot there, but no, I'd say in general, this is going to feel a lot faster. Because, you know, the water makes you go slightly slower normally. Oh, hold on, there's no water here? Oh, weird. Oh, that's so weird. But it works. I mean, the angle feels a little bizarre, but it works. Oh, they got rid of the, the Ferris wheel thing. Not a Ferris wheel. Uh, the horse ride, whatever the hell it's called. Okay, well, this definitely looks like a D-make. There's a lot of parts that aren't moving. And I do not expect most of these tracks to have all the moving parts from Mario Kart 8. The important thing is the level design is intact, and I would say, like, it basically is. The level design is pretty much the same. It's just a lot of background elements that aren't really present. Now, Sweet Sweet Canyon is a very detailed track. Yeah, this one definitely doesn't look as detailed, but it looks like they have most of the core elements here. There's no dancing gingerbread toads. I mean, that would be... That would probably slow down the game a lot. To have that many of those uh, assets. The level design feels good. The track so far feels like it's scaled pretty well. Oh, you can actually trick off of that. Oh, weird. The cones. Where's the cones? The cones are missing. I want to hit those cones. But yeah, it, I mean, like I said, it looks pretty much the same, just darker. Like, the lighting is... Vi what the hell are you doing, Yoshi? Whoa, okay, this track feels a little wonky. Usually that turn comes up on... What the hell? I spawned on the other side? <laughs> okay, sure. Wasn't expecting that. Yeah, I would say, like, these roads feel... It feels like I'm gonna fall off. Like, this is one of those sections where it's like, okay, the anti-gravity actually kind of made sense. It worked well. Doesn't work as well in this game. Now, Thwomp Ruins, this is another one with so many moving parts to it. Oh, dude, is the wall thing gonna work? Oh, that would be sick. Okay, I have to try the wall thing. The wall cling. I doubt it. It's probably closed off. It's not! Oh my god, they actually... Oh my god. Okay, I love that they adapted that. That's sick. That's really cool. Get out of the way. That's so cool. I love how they did that. So that's probably how it is in Toad Harbor, too. They just, like, make the wall not really a wall. It's more of just, like, a, a slanted ramp. 
which I think is like the perfect way to make it work in Mario Kart Wii. Oh, that's a lot shorter. Oh, wow, that section's way shorter. But I kind of like that. I kind of like it. I think it works. Oh, crap. Crap. Okay, I think we're fine. Yeah. Now, I don't expect Mario Circuit to really be any different. I mean, it. yeah, there's a lot of anti-gravity technically, but basically the same damn thing. This, also, this feels like one of those weird tracks that's just like a waste. Like, why not just remake Figure 8 Circuit and do this? And not, not do, you know, something more interesting with Mario Circuit. That's like one of my few gripes with like the original tracks. Because most of them are like timeless and just amazing. But this one is just like, I don't know, it just feels like a waste. But yeah, I mean, this play is pretty much the same. There's no ramps. I guess they got rid of the ramps. Oh, wow. There's like no bridge section either. Oh, no, wait, no. Hold on. No, the bridge is like... Okay, this layout's actually way more different than I thought it would be. They have one ramp here. I guess that makes sense. Because you change... Okay, yeah, because there's that big glide section at the end. Wow, this one is uh, much more different than I thought it would be. Because it's like such a basic track. I thought it would, they would just copy and paste most of it. But they really didn't. I don't know how... How the hell did that happen? Get him! Yes! Finally, I got a snipe with a banana. Now, Toad Harbor is an incredibly detailed, beautiful track on Wii U. And honestly, this one looks pretty damn good, too. Def not as many details, but it's got most of the set pieces. All the buildings are intact. It's got the, this bridge section. It's got the split paths. I mean, yeah, it, it looks very, very faithful. Now, the wall section is probably different. Yeah, now it's this. Oh, this is kind of cool, actually. I actually really like what they did here. Sure, we'll try this out. Why not? Hop up here this time. Oh, that's a little bit... It feel, It looks the same, but like the way that you drive on it is definitely different. <laughs> Let's see how the uh, section on the left looks. Probably be basically the same. Yeah, not really anything different. I mean, like, it's obviously all different set pieces. The houses themselves look different, but they're all like laid out pretty much the same. What the hell? <laughs> okay, what? Okay, that'll never happen again. That was wild, dude. Dude, no collision. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, no. Where am I going to spawn? Okay, that was a fair spawn, actually. Oh, they got the waviness working in Twisted Mansion. Okay, that's actually really cool. Oh, this is very grimy. It's a very grimy looking track. Very curious about the whole water section. Yeah, it's actually uh, pretty damn close. Oh, there's only one opening now. Okay, you know, that makes sense. Like, why have a glider section when there's no gliders? Might as well just make it one. This is actually uh, pretty damn good. It's got excellent flow. Okay, I'm so freaking curious about this one, too. Shy Guy Falls, the whole waterfall section could be totally different or somehow exactly the same. Okay, cool. They turned that into a boost. I love that they turned a lot of the anti-gravity things just into boosters. I think that's awesome. Makes it a little more interesting. Okay, so... Feels a lot more different, but it's basically the same idea. They did not get the speed boost things, like, moving. I think that's fine. Oh, this bridge feels very shaky. Oh, this part's very, very different. Which, like, they kind of had to do this. There's really no other way around it. You have... Because, like, this is 100% a glider-only section, typically. Oh, they got rid of the whole thing on the top, though. Oh, that's too bad. What? Okay, what the hell was that? Wow, definitely one of the glitchiest levels I've played, outside of, like, DS Mario Kart Rainbow Road. I feel like Sunshine Airport's gonna play pretty much the same. Uh, everything's just gonna be a little bit lower poly. It, it is a very intricate track design-wise, but there's no crazy anti-gravity stuff in it. Okay, it's got pretty much all the same moving parts. It has a little shortcut thing there. Okay, oh, this is cool. It's gonna have this. Nice, got the plane flying in the background still. Okay, we'll try getting on the ship, or the, the plane, whatever they, whatever you call those things. Oh, can I, hold on, can I still trick off of this? Yes, oh, you can, oh, I didn't even try that. Okay, cool. I feel like Dolphin Shoals is also going to play pretty much the same. I just, I don't see this one being that different either. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. I'm just excited for this one because of the music. Okay, so it's not like completely underwater. A little different. Oh, cool. Got sniped by a shell in the goddamn air. Awesome. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Okay. Ooh, okay. This is, Wow, this is much more simplified. Wow. Can we still trick off of the eel's t tail thing? I, mean, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Okay, this track is scaled really well. Excellent flow. This track's got really great flow. Now, come on. I want to go on top. 
Yes. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah! You can still trick off of that. Man, why does this... God, I hate that. Why? Why is... Again, like, I brought this up a few times already, but it's like every ten or so tracks, the game just likes to give you the middle finger and throws a thousand items at you, so it's impossible to play well. Oh my god! Wow. Dude, I didn't... Okay, I did not expect this one to look this good. Dude, they even got the whole dancing Koopa scene right there. I'm, like, genuinely stunned how nice this looks in Mario Kart. It doesn't even feel like I'm playing Mario Kart Wii. That's how nice it looks. Wow. Dude, this remake is goddamn incredible. Okay, Mount Wario. Oh, boy, this is gonna look... Oh, we don't actually start on the, uh, the plane or whatever. Okay, that that's automatically very different. A lot more fog. Much more fog. Probably because the background, they couldn't make it very detailed, so, like, you know, screw it, fog. Wow, this track's a lot faster. Holy crap. It goes by much faster than the original. You okay, know, how does this work? Okay, no boosters. I guess you don't really need them. Yeah, this this really just feels like a mini version of Mount Wario. Oh, hell yeah, they got the Mario snowboarding thing in here. Okay, yeah, that was honestly pretty solid and also much shorter. I mean, finishing in less than two minutes. Cloudtop Cruise is probably going to be basically the same, except at the end. The whole thundercloud thing, I really have no idea how that's going to go down. Oh, that's cool. They added a little boost there. Whoa! <laughs> the little... I, okay, the PNG thunder looks incredibly goofy, but it's also very charming at the same time. I love that they, like, actually added that in. Just in general. That's sick. Oh, I guess I should try this. Oh, okay, okay. Those work. Those work pretty well, actually. I really don't expect much different from uh, Bone Dry Dunes. I mean, it's probably going to play pretty much the same. I mean, there's that one segment with anti-gravity, but I don't think it'll be that different at all. It's definitely scale a little bit smaller, I can tell already. Turns are made a lot faster. And, ooh, whoa, this looks way different. I, you know what else I appreciate? This, the, um, the sand here is not freaking slippery. Like, the slippery sand is just kind of a nuisance in the original. Here, you just kind of go. Now we'll see how this other side is. Yeah, this this one oh, looks a lot more faithful to the original. Oh my god, dude, Bowser looks kind of badass. I mean, obviously, much lower pixel count. Or not pixel count, uh, polygon count. But he looks pretty damn cool. Uh, again, the stage... Oh, whoa, whoa, that is incredibly different. Oh my god. Wow, okay, every, oh wow, everything feels very shrunken down. Whoa! Oh, this is so wild. They got rid of the spike section. They got rid of the flames there. I think Bowser's... He's just chilling now. Yeah, yeah, this... this Okay, this track is by far the most different one out of all the Mario Kart 8 ones we played. Wow, dude, everything comes up so fast now. <laughs> Gotta really be prepared. I mean, in its own way, though, once you start to get used to it, it is kind of fun. Damn, do we finish that in, like, two minutes? <laughs> Way faster than I thought it'd be. And this actually will not be our last one. Because um, there's more Wii U tracks after this Rainbow Road. Uh, once again, really curious this one's going to go down. I mean, this one has a lot of anti-gravity sections. So I feel like at least the ending is going to be pretty different. But this beginning part will probably be pretty much the same. I mean, so far it is. Uh, the turns might actually be a little bit better. They might feel better. Yeah, I mean, so far they kind of feel better. I also love how they're using the Mario Kart Wii globe in the background. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Nice, they got the arrow switching. This is good. It's a good ass track. Yeah, this is pretty much the same. Wow, this is actually a very, very faithful remake. All right, nice. That was pretty fun. But we're not done yet because we still have the original Mario Kart 8 DLC to try out. Now, this is going to be a little bit weird because it's not going to have any retro tracks since we've obviously already played all of them. So I guess we start with Ice Ice Outpost of all things. I feel like this one's going to be basically the same. Yeah, this looks basically the same. Once again, just muddier. It's really the only difference is just the visuals. Oh, come on. Oh, God. How the hell did that buff out? Can I take this? Oh! Ooh, oh, that, that's still hard to get. Oh, man. I want to try it again. Why not? Woo! Okay. Oh, that, oh, that feels weird. Take this. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, okay. I'm very glad that did not spawn me out of bounds or something. This camera feels very strange. I think it's incredibly cool. They got the camera angles, like, correct. But it just feels weird in this game. So Hyrule Circuit looks a lot more 
I mean, it looks basically the same. <laughs> there, there's a few things here and there I'm noticing that are different, but it's like pretty small stuff. The music still absolutely slams. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba. Still very, very good. Oh, they got rid of the ramp. Honestly, it would be kind of cool to like go back and just add that ramp in. Like maybe only add it for like one of the laps or like the final lap or something. But I don't think it's going to be there at all. Also, uh, no piranha plants here. So, I think that this is one of those tracks that's scaled a little bit small. In just some sections. Like, a lot of these sections feel like they're scaled perfectly. Now, which season are we going to get? Okay, we just got summer. Or no, spring. Spring for Animal Crossing. I wonder if you can still swap them like you can in uh, Wii U. Probably not. That would be asking a lot. To basically make the track four freaking times. I don't know that. I saw an Animal Crossing character. I don't play Animal Crossing. I don't remember what it's called. But that's pretty neat. Oh my god, Jesus. Wow. That was stupid close. I'm actually really excited for this one. I love Super Bell Subway. One of my favorite DLC tracks outside of like um, Big Blue. Yeah, this one will probably be pretty similar as well. I'm really curious what they're going to do with the train. Are we still going to be able to like ride them or go on top? Oh, they're tiny now. Oh, they made them so small. Oh, man. I, I kind of. I kind of wish they were, uh, like, their actual length. But, I mean, besides that, it's actually incredibly faithful. It looks really nice. Like, the texture work is really, really well done here. Oh! Oh, okay, I see. Um, so... Unfortunately, the Mute City and Big Blue tracks don't appear to be in here. I'm not seeing Dragon Driftway. Are they anywhere else? F-Zero, Mute City, Big Blue, those might be somewhere. Okay, so I guess there's technically only one more. We're gonna go ahead and start with Sky High Sunday, and you might, I know what you're thinking. Oh, this premiered in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Well, it did premiere in there. It was made for Mario Kart Tour. Um, I think the game was data mined. People knew about this track way before it came out in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, so I am counting this as a tour track. Let's check it out. This is very different. Holy crap. Wow, this is actually very different. Right, so there's no railing this time. Oh my god damn, dude. You go super fast on this one. Only ninth. Dude, where the heck is everyone? Dude, everyone's just gone. This actually looks really nice. Honestly, it looks... Oh, oh, that's way different. Okay, whoa, way more graham crackers. Wow, this track is uh, making me bounce a lot. And I am dead once again. Very cool. I feel like this one, it looks great. However, the, the track layout could be optimized maybe a tad bit better. Um, and it could just be, again, you know, I've been playing on 200cc this whole time. That could be it, too. I'm not really sure. Like, this track feels goddamn huge as well. I actually kind of like that. Because the track feels a little bit small in the uh, original version. So this is cool. I guess we'll try this side. Why not? I don't think I've ever gone on this side. This side's just slower. Oh, this is different, though. Okay. Oh my god, we're actually going to catch up. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Thank you. That's so freaking bouncy. It's hard to trick because of how much I bounce. I mean, I was dead no matter what. It really didn't matter. Because, again, the way that I was bouncing off of the track, it, there was nothing I could have done. Oh, my God, that was close. Okay. Well, not a great start for the tour tracks. Um, I might get sixth if I somehow pass Diddy Kong. Which I did. Now, I'm really hoping that all the tour tracks at this point are two laps because they're two laps in the actual game um but i i don't know it could be three very well it could be three or at least they're small there are five laps fantastic okay great um i'm assuming they're quick to get through because th there is a lot of them and they're not combined like they are in the switch <laughs> they're like the actual tour uh level design okay can we get off of the f pole okay do not touch the water in this one water is really bad yeah, I almost feel like once all of the uh, city tracks are out in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, what I would do is just, like, remake all the tour tracks to be like those. Because those are have basically all the variants combined to, like, at least some extent. Because um, I don't know how I feel about the fact that I'm going to play this track four times. Oh, that was really funny. Lightning at first. Lol. But, yeah, I don't know. That, that could end up getting a little bit dull. But we'll see. Maybe it won't be that bad. So, now on to New York Minute 2 again. God, I guess they're all going to be five laps. I feel like that's too long. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It really should be three laps at least. Although two would probably also suffice. But you know what? At least the... the oh, this track's actually really fun. I feel like this one flows a lot better with this cart. 
Yeah, I kind of like this one a lot more. Now, graphically, it doesn't look as good, but honestly, that's okay. Oh, that was a fast lap. Okay, at least the lap was pretty fast. All right, screw it. Let's try it. All right, don't hit them. They're bad in this game. Really wish you could trick off of those. Dude, I got nothing to say about this. It's New York Minute 2, and that's all it is, really. And now, on to New York Minute 3. It looks the same as the other two. Obviously, the route will be a little bit more different. Okay. All right, we got at least this drum kick going on. That's kind of cool. Yeah, dude, I, I like, for real, I would definitely update this so that it just has the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe tracks. It, we do not need four versions of this track. Like, four versions of the track makes sense for, uh, for Mario Kart Tour specifically. And I do think a Mario Kart Tour-focused hack would work if you only had Mario Kart Tour tracks and the laps were a lot shorter. But five laps is very excessive, and I don't think it's really necessary. Like, yeah, these are pretty short laps, but still. Dude, I literally could not even see there was a PAL block. Wow, triple red shell. Dude, I never get those. Oh, excellent. I mean, these tracks don't even look great either. I mean, it is Mario Kart Tour. They never did look that great, but I don't know. The textures, even for Mario Kart Wii standards, are kind of low, I feel like. But at the very least, the levels, all the levels have been fun. You know, like I said, really the only level this whole mod that was a pain was just Rainbow Road Mario Kart DS, and that's literally it. All the other levels have at least been fun, even if they don't look amazing. The last one, minute four, an immediate right turn. Oh, boy. Okay, well, at least the music changes up. That's nice. What the hell? Okay, that was weird. Dude, I don't think I've ever even seen New Year Minute 4 specifically. What is actually kind of interesting about playing this, um, si since the fact that I have not played every version of this track, I can now see which parts were taken from Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Like, pretty much that entire area in the park, all of that was in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. That was, like, the main thing they took from that game. Oh, there's only three laps for this one. Oh, wow. I mean, that, okay, that was pretty long, I guess. Oh, I like the boss. I really like this remix of the song. Wow. This is great. Now, this looks a lot better. I really like Tokyo Blur so far. It is a little frustrating that we're going to have to play this track like three or four times. But, man, it, it looks pretty good. Actually, it looks a lot like Tour. Um, just like the way the textures are done. The textures are done very similar to like actual Tour textures. Yeah, this looks nice. They got the ramp in there, too. That's great. No Chain Chomp. I actually I'm trying to remember if Chain Chomp is even in Tour, because I know there's a Chain Chomp in 8 Deluxe, but I don't know if it's in Tour specifically. Tokyo Blur 2 time. Probably be pretty similar. Oh, actually, these ones are kind of, they're at least a little more different than New York Minutes variants, but not by much. Okay, that's cool. Thank you. Oh, the big ball thing is so small. It's so high in the air now. So is this the one where you go on the highway? It might be. I don't remember. Yeah, it's it's pretty similar. It's got a couple different parts. It's how basically every tour track works. All the same stage. All the variants are basically the same stage. Just a few different areas here and there. God, this one's... Why is this one five laps? I really hope this is updated so they're all two to three laps each. Five laps is way too long. So I think in Tokyo Blur 3, we're going to finally see the highway section. So I'm pretty sure it's in this one. I don't know if four is in this game. It probably is. I mean, like I said, this game's pretty up-to-date. It's just a little behind. When I say it's, like, up-to-date, like, you know, if the city track has all the variants, it has all the variants in the mod. It doesn't have very city. Okay, so, yeah, it's got the highway section. That's cool. Damn. Gold in fifth place. That's kind of surprising. It's one of those tracks, guys, where I get spammed with items. But at least we're still doing okay. Also, really loving the item spam right now. Feels great. Cool. Triple reds. Triple mush. So helpful. Oh, great. Lightning, too. Oh, cool. Triple bananas in third place. That'll be helpful. Oh, wow. Baby Mario's just an idiot. I literally only got first because Baby Mario's an idiot. That's, that's it. And for the final variant, Tokyo Blur number four. I've never seen this one. I have no idea what's different about it. I guess we'll find out. So far, okay, this section's new. Well, the music's different. I, I find it very interesting how, like, the fourth variant... In this mod of all these tour tracks has the unique music. Well, the other ones have, like, the original. Okay, yeah, this this is different. I mean, it's still, like, the same set pieces, but I guess it is laid out differently. I mean, it's kind of a combination of, like, two and three, I guess. I will say this. I am very glad this one took under two minutes. Because if you're going to do all the variants, 
in the mod, make the tracks pretty short. <laughs> make them short little bursts because there's not much going on in the tour tracks. I appreciate that they're there. I think that's awesome that, that a bunch of these are included. And they are fairly faithful to the game. But let's not make them drag on. <laughs> because we're, realistically, they are not as interesting as some of the other tracks. Oh, wow. Okay, Paris Promenade. This actually looks really clean. Damn, this looks really clean. Okay. I do like the music in this one a lot. Yeah, this... I don't know if I ever even played these in tour. I barely remember it. Oh, you can actually go in the water now. Oh, weird. Yeah, see, look, there's just this huge stretch of land. This is what I'm talking about. Like, it's not the mod's fault. It's literally just the track. It's how it was designed. It was designed to be very simple. So since it is designed that way, then we shouldn't be playing them for very long. They sh it should be less than two minutes each track. I'm actually really impressed with how detailed these, build these uh, buildings are. I'm not expecting that. Even the water looks pretty good. Now, I have no idea how this one's going to be different. I really don't know. Paris Promenade number two. I guess that part looks slightly different. You can go on these different sides, left or right, compared to just left. Okay, I mean, this looks like the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe version now. It's interesting that was pulled from uh, two. Okay, oh, and that's interesting. Okay, so eight Deluxe's third lap is literally this, but backwards. Oh, that's actually really neat how they like did that. See, that's the thing, look at that. 40 seconds for the lap. Give me one more lap there and I'm good. I don't need three laps of this. <laughs> like, there's not much happening. I mean, look at how barren the roads are. There's just, there's not much. Paris Promenade 3, it's another one I've never tried. Well, I guess we'll see how it is. Okay, this time only the right side. I'm assuming we do the jump again over the Eiffel Tower or underneath the Eiffel Tower. Yes, it would appear so. Wow, this is like virtually the same as the first one. Okay, no, no, okay, this cuts off earlier. I mean, I guess that's different. Wow, that was remarkably similar to, like, the first one. Yeah, 53 seconds for that lap. Bro, there's no reason for there to be three laps on this. Just two would be perfect. That's all this really needs is just lap amount change. That's it. Moving on to London Loop. Texture-wise, textures are very, very plain, but it fits with Mario Kart Tour, so that's fine. Um, now, London Loop, this is about the time that I stopped playing Mario Kart Tour, so I remember parts of this. Well, kind of. I don't know. I actually don't remember any of this. But I definitely played London Loop. Maybe, I don't know. It, it, it honestly looks way different than uh, Tour does. Yeah, these textures, I mean, they're... The textures need some work, I think, with these, for sure. I mean, the level itself is definitely done. It just needs to be visually cleaned up. Ah! Oh my god, holy crap. How did I get spun out? as freaking mega funky kong i thought i was invincible this track also feels really really big uh, i don't think it needs to be quite this big but at least it's got slapping music you know what i can always count on that the track's not super great if it's just all right music always kicking it it's always really good now on to london loop 2 i don't remember this one at all either which i i should because i definitely played them it's just been so long oh actually i do kind of remember this Honestly, like, the fact that the textures are so not detailed, that's what's making it hard to remember these tracks. But now I am starting to remember this layout a little bit. Like, London Loop 2 is actually pretty solid. I like this track. So the buildings are just definitely not done. Yeah, this one was fun. I really like the, uh, the version of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, actually. Like, it's a little on the dull side, but I feel like this track is, like, a decent mix of, like, interesting level design in every single variation, and they pretty much added all those in 8 Deluxe. So, at least the 8 Deluxe version's kind of cool. And now moving on to London Loop 3. Don't really have much to say about it, to be honest. Um, the, the tracks, this particular track feels... I don't know, I, I'm losing brain cells. I've been playing a lot of Mario Kart, guys. <laughs> I don't know what I was trying to say. I mean, it was made by the same person, or people, that put together London Loop tracks. And really, same, same issues. Uh, Textures clearly aren't ready. Stages are too big. Or at the very least, should be less laps. Like, it would be kind of cool to have the chain chomp bouncing in the water here. Now, I know that would be hard to implement, but it's definitely worth it because it's a standout feature in the original Mario Kart Tour stage. Now, moving on to Vancouver Velocity. Uh, looks like textures are uh, a lot better in this track, uh, with all due respect to the people that put together London Loop. Uh, this looks pretty damn good. Looks great, actually. Getting a little, uh, kiwakied over here, but that's okay. Oh, and I love the music in this track. The music's so damn good. 
All right, here we go. It's gamer time, baby. Yeah, this truck slaps. And it's pretty short to the point, which I definitely like. Man, look at this. The city looks shockingly good. I mean, wow. That is excellent attention to detail on the city right there. Yeah, this one's fun. I like this truck a lot. Maybe a tad on the narrow side. I think a couple parts are a little skinny. Like, this part could be maybe a touch wider, but it's really about it. I mean, I really like this one a lot. This is a great remake. Oh, I should try that. Oh, that was a bad idea. Oh, boy. Dude, I might actually not get first because I cannot escape the mud. Oh, my God. I was so far ahead. Oh, my God. Dude, that's insane. I didn't get first place. See how far ahead I was there. Wow, 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 wow. That is wild. I couldn't jump. I was, like, stuck. I was trying to jump out of there at first, so it just wouldn't let me. Now, this one does not look as finished. It's actually kind of surprising. I, I would think that, like, um, the same person would put together all the variants, but I guess not. But I'm assuming the level layout will be exactly the same as Vancouver Velocity 2. Yep, it's got the ice rink. That's great. Again, it just needs more visual polish. Like that, That's really all I can add here. It's scaled pretty nicely, though. This level's definitely scaled well. Trying to remember, are there other variants of Velocity, or is it just two of them? I do not remember. I did play this on the phones, but I think I only ever played, like, the first one. Dude, it's going to be so weird going back to regular Mario Kart Wii and then seeing the most static PAL block of all time compared to this crazy-looking 3D one. I know it's not on the screen right now, but, like, we've seen it so many times. It's just going to look weird going back to vanilla. Yeah, that was great. Under two minutes. That felt just right. Now, Calamari Desert 2. Okay, so it looks like the same textures from the N64 first one, I guess, are also applied here, which is great. Although this time, of course, we're going to go into the train track, which is going to be kind of cool. Oh, what the hell? Someone took the left side? I guess if they had a mushroom, they could do it. Okay, here we go. We're just going in. That's cool. I like there's only two laps, too. It's definitely a, a good choice. Oh, my God. <laughs> Damn. Dude, Dry Bowser messed up that train. Holy sh**. Hella messed them up. Dude, I'm really glad this is only two laps. This is an actually really long lap. Damn. Like, this is one of those scenarios where you have to, like, question, does it make more sense to just pull what Mario Kart 8 Deluxe did with Calamari Desert and make that, like, the official? Or do you leave this in? Because, like, you know, this mod, the whole purpose is to have as many of the um, retro tracks as physically possible. And they basically have all of them. Like, they're only missing a handful of tour tracks, and then they are missing a bunch of arcade tracks, but, like, they have some of them in there, at least. And then there's, what, like, maybe two or three Mario Kart 8 ones that are missing that are just DLC. So, it's like, do you have this one in there? Because it's so similar to the first game, or the first Calamari Desert? I don't know. It's a weird thing to think about. Okay, Merry Mountain actually looks pretty decent. Not bad. I mean, Dude, it honestly looks pretty damn good for Mario Kart Wii. Got the snow in there, too, of course. Not bad. Oh, you can still take this? Hell yeah. That's cool. Oh, that's that's really cool. I like that a lot. Yeah, this is good. It's actually very, very faithful. Just regular Merry Mountain. Strangely, it kind of reminds me of Sky High Sunday, because it is it is kind of like... It's kind of like a big oval, but also not. Like, it is a little bit more intricate, but... Also, not really at all, but I do appreciate the visuals. The visuals are very nice. Berlin Byways, another very solid track. Uh, does not look like the textures are done for this one either. So I'm imagining they're, they're pretty new additions to uh, this mod just in general. Well, it's got the epic music, though. ba 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 da ba 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 da ba I love the music in this one. It's so good. Still a very tight track design. It just doesn't look very good. Like, textures definitely need a lot of cleanup and polish, but damn, it plays very nicely. I'll give it that. Oh, and the laps are nice and short. Oh, hell yes. That's what I'm talking about. Literally just needs a visual upgrade. That's it. Absolute banger otherwise. Okay, I'll take it. Bah, 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 bah. Don't get squashed. Okay. I thought the thwomp was going to get me there. Now we've got Ninja Hideaway. I absolutely love this track. Um, it, it looks a little blurry at the moment, but we'll see how it plays. That's what really matters. Yeah, could, could still use a little bit of work, uh, texture-wise, but seems to play pretty well. Oh, weird, they don't have the, uh, spike things. The spike things don't fall down on the bottom. This probably just launches you forward, yeah. Oh, that's cool, it just launches you way up here. Oh, that's actually kind of sick. Well, I will say the flow feels great. Again, it just comes down to texture work. 
Uh, definitely could use some upgrades here and there, but uh, that's really about it. And like, this is one of those Mario Kart 2 tracks. I don't mind them being a little bit longer because it's actually a very intricate, well-designed, thought, well-thought-out track. There's multiple routes to take. It's, it is an interesting track just in general. So I'm totally fine with it being a little bit longer. Yeah, this one, 100%, still needs a little bit of work, but like, it's on track to be a fantastic remake. I'll say that. Oh, this is different. Oh, cool. It is nice that you can take both paths, too. Oh, wow, this song actually has final lap music. A lot of these, if you've noticed, do not have final lap music because it's just custom. They probably just plop in one and call it a day. This one actually has the final lap, though. So, you know what? I feel like give this track... Oh, hell yeah, Blue Shell Dodge. Let's go. I feel like give this track a little more time. I think the person that made it is probably going to eventually upgrade it and add more just add more texture quality that's again the really all it needs because this is an incredibly solid remake otherwise that was fun i like that one now on to sydney sprint i think there's we have three different variants in this mod uh again i stopped playing tour at this point so i don't know what these are going to be like and it starts very similarly to this mario kart 8 deluxe yeah not bad so it, it looks like some of the texture work has been completed some of it could still be touched up for sure but I would say the general scale, the flow of the level feels fantastic. Maybe a tad big, but not bad. Oh, not really. Okay, it's around 30 seconds per lap. That's great. Yeah, level scaled perfectly. Again, just needs a little more visual flair, and that's it. God, I love the Sydney Sprint music. It's so good. Oh, this has final lap music too. That's cool. You even got some of the stuff in the background moving. That's awesome. Now into Sydney Sprint 2. Once again, it looks like the roads and stuff are textured. It's just the buildings that need touch up. Now, I remember none of this one. Oh, this is very different. Okay, a little bit of a different remix too. Oh, I don't even know if this section is in tour. Oh, hell yeah, thank you. Thank you for that. Oh no, this isn't tour. Okay, cool. Yep, I remember this now. Yeah, this is it. This is another really fun track. Short, sweet, to the point. Now onto Sydney Sprint 3. I think this is the last Sydney Sprint course, as far as I'm aware. Oh, okay, I remember parts of this from uh, 8 Deluxe as well. Oh, yeah, I remember this part for sure. This reminds me so much of Los Angeles laps as well. All right, so I will say this one should either be two laps long or shorten down a little bit, because I can already tell this will take over two minutes. And while these tracks are definitely a lot more interesting than some of the other tour tracks we've played, Sydney Sprint could... Should still be under two minutes, I think. Because it's still not, like, that crazy lo of level design or intricacy. I like, guess it's, it's, it's better, but it's still not anything crazy. Now, Singapore Speed Rent. Or, spe Speed Rent? What the f*** am I saying? Singapore Speedway is an incredibly detailed track in 8 Deluxe. So I do not expect that much detail. However, I can tell effort was definitely put in here. I mean, goddamn, it, it looks pretty good. Honestly, looks really damn good for Mario Kart Wii. This track deserves the effort. I love Singapore Speedway. It's one of the most interesting city tracks, like, out of all of them, by far. Only 25-second laps. You love to see it. However, five laps is so unnecessary. <laughs> I don't know if anyone actually agrees with me on this. I'd be so curious to know uh, in the comments. If, if any of the modders end up watching the video, I'd be curious. Like, does that really matter to you? Because I don't know, like, for for me, well, I guess for this, like, the, okay, to be fair, like, Singapore Speedway in particular is much more intricate than most city tracks. Oh, that was just awesome. But yeah, I don't know. Does it really matter how long a track is? But I feel like for tour specifically, like, they, they should be under two minutes. But I don't know. I could be the odd one out. I have no idea. I'm just really impressed with how detailed this one is. I mean, goddamn. I mean, there's a couple things here and there that aren't, like, super detailed, but, like, most of the buildings look really good. The lighting is really nice. It's not really muddy or blurry anywhere. It, it just looks just looks pretty solid. <laughs> Diddy Kong just completely gave up on life. That was funny. I'm really excited for this one. Singapore Speedway 2 has some really, really cool sections in it. So I'm hyped. Looks about the same as the other one. Only three laps, so I guess it'll be a little bit longer. Whoa, holy crap. Yeah, this is the part I was hyped for. I love this section. Oh, hell yeah. That's fun. Oh, weird. Okay, so this one's going to actually be a lot shorter than uh, the first Singapore one. 30 seconds. It'll be about a minute and a half to a minute 40. Dude, the details are wild in this track. I mean, come on. 
The freaking tubes change color. That's incredible. This must have taken so long to put together. Like, my god. What a well-detailed track. Now moving on to Amsterdam Drift. Another one I've never played the tour version of. Okay, only three laps on this one. Ooh, this looks nice. Oh, this looks really nice, actually. Pretty solid work. Okay, this could probably be a two-lap track. It's going to be a little long, but... You know what? I would I would also argue that like maybe this one has enough interesting level design to where it doesn't need to be shorter. Oh, oh, they add in cows and stuff. Okay, I feel like this one warrants three laps. Like there's a lot going on in this one. Like goddamn, there's a lot happening, which is good. That's great. The only thing I can really say about this track is there's some areas that could use a little more visual polish, but a lot of it looks fantastic. Oh boy, here we go, bro. I'm not gonna make the jump. I wasn't going to make the jump. What? Oh, my God. I backed up to make the goddamn jump, and it still didn't work. After also getting hit by a fake item box and lightning. Fantastic luck there. Oh, my. All I get is a freaking mushroom at the end. Wow. How the hell did I even pull out fourth? Moving on to Amsterdam Drift number two. Oh, going into the water this time. Very nice. All right. Getting absolutely right at the beginning typical start for me i'm really glad that they did this like you know it's nice to not be on road like take us into the goddamn gutters or just somewhere else anywhere else so many road tracks in tour so it's great to see this do you know what would have been really cool actually if instead of like just a bunch of cities what if mario kart tour did like a bunch of like really cool landmarks like stonehenge or something or like the grand canyon i feel like that would have been a lot more interesting like keep some of the city tracks but also have, like, really cool, outstanding, um, just, like, landmark historical locations. They make Mario Kart Tour 2. Hopefully they'll do that. I don't think there'll be a Tour 2. I highly doubt that would happen. But if it did, just saying. So I will say the scaling... God damn it, man. The scaling does feel a little weird in this track. Maybe... I don't, I don't know how to put my finger on it. Maybe it's a tad small? I'm not really sure. I don't know. Uh, something about it feels, like, a tiny bit off. But for the most part, it, it's pretty solid. I would almost say a tad small, because it's really easy to run into corners and stuff. Or even instead of shrinking it, just change... God, yeah, that's, that's what I'm talking about. It's really easy to run into walls. Maybe change, like, the amount of um, height you get off of ramps in some areas. It's really about it that would need to be updated. And we got first. Don't know how, but it happened. Whew, we are... <laughs> There's been a lot of tour tracks. Oh my god. One more for Amsterdam Drift, then Bangkok Rush. And then after that, it's a bunch of RMX tracks. So I'm actually very curious to try those. I feel like those are going to be really cool in this game. So Drift number three, another one I've never played in tour. Pretty curious to see how it's going to go. Okay, it starts kind of similar. Oh, hell yeah. We get the flower uh, area. Sweet. Guys, that was so freaking weird. I felt like breath breath on my neck i think it was just the wind but that was weird now i'm paranoid who's who's behind my boulders huh i don't know i'm not sure someone's trying to steal my boulders no one can steal my boulders they are my property and now we have bangkok rush looks not too bad uh once again textures could use a little bit of visual flair but overall looks like this is gonna be a good one. Oh, oh, this is cool Honestly, if I, for some reason, I thought you were playing a totally different tour track. I forgot. Oh, my God. Hot damn, you get some airtime from that. There's some bouncy roofs. Oh, this is so sick. I just wish it looked a little nicer. That's really my, my only issue. Yeah, this is cool. I really like this one. It's another one that I have not played just the tour version. I only played the 8 Deluxe version. 38 seconds. Not bad. Not a bad amount of time for one lap. Man, I want to go to this place. Bangkok? I just want to be on one of those boats. That just looks so cool. One day. If I find boulders, then I'll make my way eventually. We are moving on to the RMX tracks or remix. In case you don't know what that is, it's going to be a bunch of SNES tracks, but they are remixed in some specific way. Uh, for Mario Circuit 1, I don't really know what the dealio is going to be. Okay, it looks like it's going to be some ramps. That was a very bizarre ramp jump. Okay. Well, I guess it's just going to be a bunch of ramps then. It is refreshing, though. I'll give it that. It is very different from just the SNES track. Feels a lot bigger, too. I'm also getting really tired of just running into garbage. 
Sometimes I just want to turn off items. Like, the items can... Like, I know items are what make Mario Kart Mario Kart, but sometimes I just want to see what the hell the track is like, and I just can't because I'm getting bombarded. I do really like this remix a lot, though. Why did I do that? That was such an obvious fake one. Man, I wish Mario Circuit 1 was always like this. This is so much more interesting than just, like, the regular one. Now, there's 10 remix courses in tour. I do not know if this mod has them all. Let's go ahead and check. I'm curious. Yeah, okay, it has all the remix ones, but one of them. Okay. Now, Choco Island 1 is, again, it's going to be a lot like Mario Circuit, but it's going to have a lot of ramps in it. So, that ought to be a lot more interesting than usual. Oh, dude, I love that they're controlling the ramp height. Thank you. Oh, yeah, this is cool. I like this a lot. Okay, gotta avoid the brown goo. I like that. This is a fun- this is a really solid one. Yo, what the hell? Why is the blooper gold? No idea why he's gold in this particular track, but cool. You know, this would work really well for Mario Kart 8, too. And I guess 7. Like, you could definitely add all the RMX tracks to those two games. Like, for Wii, it does work if you control how high your jump goes, which they are doing for a lot of these, which is awesome. But 7 and 8, the jumps are naturally not super high, so, like, they would just work super well. Oh, okay, here we go. Wow, look at that. A little bit of variety here. Now we're talking. RMX Choco Island 2. Probably going to involve a lot of ramps as well. Oh, boy. Really wish that was a little bit lower. Oh, I really like how this one looks. Oh, this looks so nice. I'm, like, scared. I'm not going to... Yeah. No tricking off of that. God damn it. Please, God, the acceleration's so goddamn bad on this cart. It's a great cart, but, geez, the acceleration kills me. The second he transformed is when he ran into me. Are you goddamn... Come on! Twice in one lap? God damn! I am getting f***ed! Holy sh**! Dude, I can't even be mad! Oh my god! Bro, relax! And now I'm gonna lose the mushroom! Somehow in second after all of that. Jesus. Yeah, there we go. Undercut. How the hell did I get first place? On to more uh, Rainbow Roads. I don't know. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's dash rings. Okay. Well, that's interesting. How are the dash rings going to work? Because there are no dash ring items in Mario Kart Wii. I'm, I'm actually very, very intrigued how this is going to go down. Okay. I mean, more ramps. Well, the dash rings are, like, on the sides now. I guess that's really about it. They're just adding ramps again. I mean, there's not much they really can do. Like, you would have to create a brand new item. Which, it, that's just... Oh, shit. Here they are. Okay, well, they don't really work, but they're there. God, so many rainbow roads in this mod. Pretty wild. I'm actually curious how many there are total, because there's probably also, like, brand new ones. Because the thing is, like, I have played this hack for several hours at this point, and I have not played one new track. They have been all retros, which just speaks volumes for how much freaking content is in this game. It's ridiculous. It's the most I've ever seen in a Mario Kart mod, period. And, like, 98% of it's fantastic, too. There's been some duds here and there, but... Not even here and there, just very rarely. And it looks like this one's gonna have a bunch of bouncy mushrooms. Oh, I like it so far. I actually really like it so far. This is cool. They don't... The bouncing is not overexerted. It doesn't go crazy, which is good. Even in 200cc, this feels really smooth. Alright, big bouncy section coming up. Here we go. I mean, honestly, it's like combining Rainbow Road and Mushroom Gorge. That's what it kind of feels like. That was fun. I mean, they didn't really do... Really, all they did was add mushrooms, but... I don't know. Like, they added enough. They changed up the layout enough that it just felt really refreshing. It's another really solid remake. Now onto RMX Vanilla Lake 1. I have no idea what to expect. Oh, just these things? Is that it? Oh, what the hell? This looks way different. Dude, this is not even Vanilla Lake 1. This is just a new track. Okay, little baby ramps? I guess that's, like, the uh, the remix here. I guess it's... I mean, these count as little baby ramps, too. The little water geyser things. So I think the missing one is Vanilla Lake 2, if I'm not mistaken, because I thought there was two of those. So next, I guess, Ghost Valley 1. And I remember the gimmick for this one is literally just, like, stairs. It's about it. It's going to be a lot of stairs, I guess. Don't really know beyond that. Yep, there's some more stairs. Great. Once again, on 200cc, these are not... I highly doubt any of these tracks are optimized for 200cc. Oh, I like this little part. This is neat. Oh, a rare blue shell pickup. Easy to see them. Never pick them... God damn, bro. 
Yep, this is one of those get hit by a thousand things stages. I guess we'll try the bottom path. Why not? Oh boy, another blue shell. Un Dude, another blue shell. Jesus. I think that was like the third one in this one track. Now we've got Bowser's Castle 1. I don't actually remember what the gimmick is for this one, so I guess we'll find out. Uh, oh, the speed boost. Is that what it is? It looks like it's speed boost. I mean, that would be kind of cool, actually. Yeah, I still don't... Yeah, it's the speed boost. Okay, that's cool. I like that. That's pretty neat. Holy crap, this remix. Wow, this is a very, very good remix of the song. I've said very little for this track, and that's because I'm just genuinely enjoying it. It's just a really, really fun one. I almost wonder if, um, for the RMX tracks, they just did this. Because I feel like this is more interesting than the ramps or the mushrooms or anything. Like, just, like, gaining little like, extra bits of boost just feels good. And now for the last of the tour tracks, not a Rainbow Road, but Donut Plains 1, of all things. And I have no idea. Oh, it's leaves. Okay, bouncy leaves. Basically going to be mushrooms. I'm down with that. That's cool with me. Honestly, that's going to look pretty cool. I'm excited for this one. All right, let's do it. Boing, boing. Okay, time for 10th place. 12th place. I'm ready. Ah, what can you even do besides sigh and move on? God damn, I just want to play this stage. Oh, okay. Big boost. Let's go. And I am dead. Fantastic. I've been playing a lot of Mario Kart. I'm, I'm ready for a break after this one. <laughs> oh my god, get me out of 12th. Holy sh**. Wow, I've gotten absolutely bamboozled this this uh, whole track. Awesome. Stars. That'll help a lot. Okay, to be fair, it kind of has helped. This is... Okay, despite the, despite the fact that I'm getting destroyed by items, this is an incredible uh, RMX track. This might be one of my favorites. This is like Bowser Castle 1 in like Rainbow Road 2. I think those are probably like my top three favorites. And that is that. We have played all of the retro tracks in this mod. Oh my God. I did want to start with the very first Mario Kart arcade track, which is Mario Beach. And uh, I have played this track before. I don't think I've ever played it on Mario Kart Wii specifically, but does it have the music? It does. It does have the music, awesome. Yeah, this is a very basic track. You know, it's on the arcade. Um, the arcade version does have, like, jumping and stuff, but it's, like, a very, very low jump. So this is going to be a very, very flat track, basically. So not much to it, but I love the music. Absolutely jams. It jams pretty hard. It looks great. Like, texture work on this is fantastic, actually. It would be so wild to see Nintendo themselves actually remake an arcade track. I mean, if they'll put Mario Kart Tour tracks in 8 Deluxe, why not the arcade tracks? I mean, a lot of them aren't, like, amazing. A lot of them are very flat and just, you know, whatever. But there are some, like, interesting choices. Some of them get a little wild, especially once you get to GP Deluxe. But for the first game, yeah, there's just not much to them. But it's just an interesting piece of... Ow. It's an interesting piece of history, to say the least. So, and I do feel like it would be appropriate for this mod to eventually have all the arcade tracks. I, I don't know... Uh, how hard that would be? It'd probably be very difficult, because there are actually quite a few tracks. There's like 20-something tracks in the first game, 20 to 30 in the second, and then same with the Deluxe. That's like 50 to 60 tracks you'd have to, to remake. That's a lot. I just love the song in this one. That's the main reason I picked it. Like, any of the track itself is, is nothing special, but I love the music. Let's see what else we've got. Rainbow Downhill is actually kind of a cool one. Waluigi Stadium. I don't remember that at all. Kingdom Way. What else do we have? Bowser's Castle. Okay, Pack Mountain. Di Diamond City was kind of a cool one. There are some interesting ones. Let's do, like, one more. Let's go and do Rainbow Downhill. We've already done all the Rainbow Roads. Why not this one? I think there's, like, three or four Rainbow Road tracks of, like, all of our KGP, something like that. It's a decent amount. You actually have to race, I think, Robo Mario uh, at the end of Mario Kart Arcade. And I think it's on this specific track where you have to race them. So those ramps, you could actually jump onto those in the original game. Um, and you would get like a little, a little bit of a faster time doing that. Okay, wow, so the effect still works. That's awesome. Yeah, so that that's kind of like the whole gimmick of this track. It kind of goes back and forth between being like at nighttime in like some cloudy area. It's really damn cool, honestly. The two-lap track, too. This is awesome in, in, uh, in here. Oh, gosh. And this is really, really fun in Mario Kart Wii. I like this one. I love that they kept in the amount of uh, 
or the same amount of item boxes too. Like, it's not necessary, uh, but you know what? They did it anyway. I'm glad there's only two laps on this one too. That's good. All right, there we go. Now we're cooking. That's so cool they got the effect working in this game too. What the hell was that? I don't know why that happened, but all right. Interesting collision. That part, okay, that one jump is a little awkward. It's really about it. Everything else feels pretty good. Now, there are a bunch of Diddy Kong racing tracks as well. I, I kind of want to play all of them, but I also know I probably shouldn't. Now, what if, let me see, Frosty Village, um, Dark Moon Cavern, Star City, Spaceport Alpha. What the hell? How did they do this one? This is uh, one of the more complex tracks in Diddy Kong racing, so curious to see how this one's going to be. I mean, it looks pretty much the same. Looks pretty sweet. Okay, I see what they did here. This is cool. <laughs> that, the fucking roof is still way too tall. Oh, that's sick. Okay. This actually works surprisingly well. This is another game where I'm really surprised that no one has gone through and remade, like, all the tracks. Because Diddy Kong Racing is such an iconic game on N64. Like, why not, right? We already have a, a decent amount of these remade. Hopefully, a group of people will just finish them. Because, I mean, I would argue the Diddy Kong Racing tracks in general are more interesting than the Mario Kart 64 ones. Yeah, this is great. This is cool. No, oh, I, I'm trying to think about if I want to... Oh, damn it. I really don't know if I want to play the other Diddy Kong Racing ones, too. Like, I want to, but there's so many crazy tracks in this game that I want to try still. So I'm probably going to skip most of the Diddy Kong Racing stuff. But I am glad I'm trying this one, because I've never tried it. Okay, I'm going to slow down this time. Hey, it didn't hit the ceiling! Yay! That's good. And there is, of course, a bunch of Crash Team Racing tracks. Uh, Blizzard Bluff... Oh, Ruse Tubes! Cool! Okay, Cortex Castle. So I've actually recently played through Crash Team Racing, so I actually... Uh, remember a good amount of these. Let's try a crash course. Let's do, uh, let's do Ruse Tubes. So this should be the one where you race, uh, Riley Rue. It is? Okay, cool. Well, I didn't technically play the PS1 version. I played, uh, the remake on, I think I played on PS5. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is sick. This is a really good track for Mario Kart, actually. Dude, it's so weird to not hear, Wee Like, not hearing the Crash Team Racing items just in this stage just feels very bizarre. Yeah, this is sick. I like this. Now we got to get all the Crash Team Racing characters in this game. Let's make it happen. All right, that was fun. Special stage, the Sonic CD special stage. We got to do that. And we'll definitely do Emerald Coast too. Okay, this is freaking sick. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, I love this. This is really neat. Seven laps. That's it, huh? Must be very short laps. Yeah, 20 second laps. That's, that's pretty short. And that was with me getting hit by like four items. This is pretty damn sweet. Oh, the music choice is very strange. It sounds like it's from an NES game or something. Like, it's not the Sonic CD special stage music, and I don't know why. Hold on, hold on. No, no, this music's from Mario Kart 7. I think this is Mario Kart 7 battle music. A am I am I hearing things? Is this what it is? Because if so, that's so random. <laughs> I mean, sure? Maybe it's Mario Kart Wii battle music. It's definitely battle music from Mario Kart. You know, this track did not need seven laps. <laughs> I think five would have been okay, because they are very short laps. But seven, maybe a bit much. Now, Emerald Coast, very, very curious what this one's going to be like. Whoa, okay. All right, this one looks wild. Dude, it's literally just the level. <laughs> it's actually just the level. This is sick, dude. Oh, my God, this is cool. Wow, like, I'm honestly... Sh okay, so now, now we're starting to differentiate a little bit from the actual game. Kind of. Oh my god, they even have those things in there. The spike thingies. Oh sh**, in the bridge! Dude, what if the dolphin is like an obstacle? No, it's not. Wow! This is fantastic! Like, this is a genuinely fantastic mix. I just love how many... Like, it really does feel like I'm just playing Sonic Adventure. Or I'm just... I'm literally in Sonic Adventure. Like, there are no assets for Mario Kart outside of like the characters and items. I do like the still of the dolphin in there, even though it doesn't really make an impact on the gameplay. It is nice as included, at least. Dude, it would have been really funny if Tails was just here. He was just, like, on the beach or whatever with his plane down, just kind of staring at you like, uh, Hey, Funky Kong, can you help me? My plane's down. Uh, I think I'm going to have to hit these. Got to hit these, baby! Let's go! Oh, that was freaking sick. 11 out of 10. Easy 11 out of 10 track right there. Now, there's a lot of stuff from DX. Twinkle Circuit, Saturn Circuit. These are just the racing stages. This is more interesting to me. Freaking Grand Metropolis from Sonic Heroes. I mean, come on. This is going to be awesome. 
Oh, hell yes, dude. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's actually <laughs> surprisingly detailed. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is so cool. I mean, I, to be fair, it doesn't really look like it yet. Ow. Because we're not on, like, the green road. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Now it's it's kind of looking like it a little bit more. God damn, this is so steep. <gasps> Yo, the boost! Oh, that's sick. They added the freaking boosts. God, this is such a cool track. Yeah, I'm really glad that I saved these for last. Like, it was really, really cool to play every single retro track, basically. It is very also very refreshing to play new stuff. This is so neat. Oh, I love they added the Sonic Heroes boost specifically. Oh, and then the freaking boxes. I love you can actually interact with the boxes. The only weird thing about this um, is that we're not on the weird, like, green translucent path. That's, like, my, my only, like, critique here is just that. I feel like um, that's what the stage probably could have needed. Um, otherwise, it looks incredible. Just look at this. Look at how nice the texture work is. Oh, my God. It's a fun track, too. It's very varied. I love this part. Look at this goddamn jump. It's insane. Or not the jump, just the hill. This hill is so obnoxiously large. I love it. You know what actually really cool? Having a bunch of, like, monkey ball tracks um, as, like, Mario Kart stages. Maybe, like, combine a few of them together. That would be awesome. That will never happen. No one cares about monkey ball, but that would be sick. Now, I gotta try Casino Park. Okay, now that's what I'm talking about. That really looks like Casino Park a lot. I mean, so did Grand Metropolis. It was just the road that was weird. Oh, this placement's a little awkward. <laughs> All right, it works. So I'm wondering, are we going to get on to, like, the roulette tables or the pinball tables? Okay, this is scary. Holy cr God damn. <laughs> a lot of boxes. Oh, here we go. Casino time. Oh, I honestly thought we were going to boost. Okay, no boosting then. Oh, God. Okay. All right, got some bingo chips now. Oh, snap. Oh, they're boosts. Oh, they're boosting. Okay. It's not expecting that. Oh, my God. What the hell? All right. Um, I don't know how I feel. I'm very conflicted on this track because clearly a lot of effort was put into it, but I don't know. The level design is just okay. I don't know. I hate to say it because, goddamn, look at how much work was put into this. It looks incredible, but... I don't know, level design just isn't super interesting. It's very just, you go straight, you turn for a super long time. It kind of just does that over and over. This camera angle. A tilt. It's got to freaking tilt your head for it. Oh, my God. This part is cool, though. This is definitely the coolest part of the whole track. However that works, I like it. I don't know, I really feel like Casino Park, we, we should have driven through the pinball machine at some point. Like, I definitely see what they were going for here. Uh, I just feel like those super long, windy sections, they, we didn't need to have that for, like, the entire track. Maybe, like, one part of it would have been great, but not, like, the whole thing. But still, though, that was cool. All right, you know what? I am going to actually go ahead and do uh, Mute City. I want to see if this is the Mario Kart 8 one or not. That's the main reason why. It is not. Okay, it's just regular-ass F-Zero. Okay, well, I'll do one of these. This is fine. These aren't necessarily that interesting to me, but the very least, it looks like they actually went pretty hard on, like, the backgrounds, which is really cool. And they got a bunch of, like, 3D buildings and stuff in the back, so that's nice. Damn, this track is freaking huge. This looks like one of those tracks you need to go, like, 1,000 cc down and not uh, 200. This just seems too slow. Yeah, this track is way too big. I'm pretty sure this was actually built for, like, super, super fast speeds, but not for this speed. AC Crossingville. Oh, Crash Nitro Racing. That's cool. Mario... Well, we kind of have to play the Mario Galaxy, don't we? Comet Observatory. Dude, the, wait, the Comet Observatory? Oh, my... God. Okay, this is going to be freaking sick. Oh, okay. I'm hyped. Goddamn Rosalina Stan made this track. I love it. Oh, this is so sick. Look at this. Oh, this is so goddamn cool. Oh, man. Can we get something? I, do, I would love to see this for, like, the Mario 64 Castle, too. Or, like, Sunshine's Delfino Plaza. Delfino. Delfino. You tell me how to say it. I'll say it however I want. Dude, this is f***ing awesome. Now, I do kind of wish we could explore a little bit more of the Common Observatory, but honestly, I, I don't care. It just looks so bright and colorful. It works. Like, it works really damn well as it is. This is awesome. Look at that, dude. That's sick. Definitely one of the prettiest looking customs I have seen in this game, period. I mean, just look at how detailed and beautiful it looks. My god. Honey Hive Galaxy. Oh, this ought to be pretty awesome, too. Oh, yeah. Okay, this is going to be great. You can already tell this is going to be a really good one. 
Man, look at how freaking colorful the grass is. Not colorful, just bright and vibrant. It looks so nice. I mean, I'm such a sucker for bright... What the hell is going on here? Okay, uh, definitely this way. Uh, what? I'm gonna restart. I have no idea what just happened. So I'm pretty sure I was supposed to stay on the left side only. <laughs> and that's it. I got confused, though, because the arrow looks like I'm supposed to go up. Oh, wait, no, oh, actually, okay, now... Oh, I'm supposed to go this way. Okay, well, dumb me. I did not know that. Oh, dude, they got the, uh, the black hole, too. That's sick. Oh, man, wow, we're actually exploring a lot of this. Oh, look at this. We're going through this part. Oh, this is so cool. Yo! Oh, this part, too! Like, I don't, there's not really, like, a name for this part of the level, but I remember it exactly. Oh, hell yeah. And then this... Oh, the, the back section. Oh, the flower! Holy sh... This is a really good one. Oh, no, the honey. The damp... No, no, stop. Oh, my God. Even the honey queen section is in here. Yo! Oh, ho, ho! Look at this! Oh, 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 what the hell? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look at... Oh, holy sh... This track is crazy! Oh, my God. This track is crazy. Oh, I just f***ed up those bees. God damn, this track is crazy. Like, actually incredible work. Man, I really wish Nintendo would do more stuff like this. Like, this is exactly what I would want to see, like, in an actual Mario Kart game. Like, take an iconic level from one of your 3D Mario or 2D Mario games or whatever game and, like, really go wild with it. Take us to all the iconic locations in that stage. This is perfect. Like, this is, like, genuinely such an awesome track. And then there's, like, this whole tree thing. It's crazy, man. What a crazy stage. And I don't know what the hell's going on here, but I like it. Whatever that was, that was cool. Oh, cool. I can go up here. Sweet. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Okay, that was some bull****. That might have been, like, the best track I've played in this month. Well, I don't know, man. It's hard. There's been so many good tracks. Definitely, I would say, like, out of, like, all of the unique tracks, probably the best I have played. Now, I'm kind of scared about loop-de-loop, -loop, um, considering how loops went with the DS Mario Kart, or a DS Rainbow Road, I should say. So, uh, we'll see how this one goes. Hopefully, if there is loops, it won't be that bad. Now, is this just a complete clone? Oh, no, this is a unique design, I think. This looks like this is... I mean, kind of inspired by how it looks in the in the game. You know, fairly appropriate music, too. All right, yeah, this one's not bad. I guess, like, it's hard to get super excited about Loop-de-Loop -loop Galaxy because it's literally just water in tubes. But it's well-designed, and I like all the pianos in the background and stuff. I've noticed something I've noticed. There is, even the, the tracks that didn't have, like, a lot of texture work really done or ready, at least there was a lot of, like, fun details added in, like, pretty much all these tracks. So that's nice. Those pianos jamming out. That was awesome. Now, this is Mario Party 7 Kart Wheeled. I have no idea what this is. Is this based off a minigame? Yes, it is. Oh, I remember this minigame. Okay, this is really funny that this exists. I remember what it looks like. I barely remember how the minigame works. Oh, it's so weird for this to not be top down. Dude, I love that they do stuff like this. This is such a weird, obscure thing to turn into a stage. Yet someone did it. Because they just really like Mario Party 7. Which is probably the only reason this exists. They like the minigame or they just like Mario Party 7 a lot. You know, Mario Party 7 is a pretty fun one. Not my favorite Mario Party, but it's still a fun one to play. You know, I imagine that, like, the Mario Odyssey RC car race is also in this mod. I don't know if I'll do that because, um, I mean, it's, it's very similar to this. But we'll definitely check to see if it's there. Alright, what else we have? We have Mario Party 8 Moped Mayhem Mario Party DS. Mario Party 9, Super Paper Mario, oh my god. So many bizarre, obscure choices. Like, how can I not play all of these? I don't know if I will. Oh, I remember this one. Okay, yeah, this is, I think it's a one player. There is something unique about this game. It's either like a one player or an eight player game or something. This is so weird that it's like in the game now. Wow, what a bizarre, again, just so many strange choices for Mario Kart tracks. Is this a boost? Oh, hell yeah, it is. Let's go. <laughs> they got value on the sign. That's awesome. I think I'm going to skip Snow Go, but you know what? I got to try Pedal Pushers because I don't even remember what this is. Huh. You know what? I played a lot of Mario Party DS when I was younger. I have no idea what this is. I don't know. I don't remember. Eight laps. There's eight freaking laps on this one. God damn. I mean, this is neat. It reminds me a lot of um, the other one I just played from the other Mario, Mario Party 7, I think. I don't know what I thought was going to happen. I saw it was a blue shell. I'm like, eh, 
Maybe I'll be fine. Definitely was not fine. Now, Bitland Run, this has to be a good one. I think I remember seeing a, a bit of it in the trailer. Yes! Oh, this is gonna be sick. Oh my god. Man, I love Super Paper Mario. I haven't played the game in so long. It definitely was not my favorite. I feel like there were some parts of the game that were kind of dragged on, but God, I, this this part of the game is, is awesome. Look at this. It just looks so cool. No, and I'm dead. Okay, perfect. I feel like this track definitely was not built for 200cc. All right, let's see what else we have. There's Smash Bros. Mario Circuit, <laughs> Port Town Aerodive, MSUSA. Now, this I have to play. I know no one knows what this is. BBBBBB, it is an indie game that came out over a decade ago. I freaking love this indie game. Oh my god, look at this. I cannot believe someone made a freaking track of this game. This is such an obscure indie game. Like, I do feel like it had some recognition back in, like, the very early 2010s, but not a lot of people know about it. So it's so damn cool that it has a track. And what it is, it's like a 2D platformer, and the main gimmick is, like, when you jump, basically your gravity switches from being upper, upper or, I'm trying to say, top to bottom. Uh, that's, like, the whole gimmick of the stage, or of the game, I should say. And which I know sounds like a very basic gimmick, but, like, the way that they made levels around it was so good and the music was so catchy such it's just such an incredible game fantastic level design too great great indie game i can't like recommend it enough honestly and this track doesn't really use the gimmick but it does use a lot of the same kind of set pieces which is awesome i'm just glad this exists at all and someone remembers this freaking game <laughs> three dirt what the hell is this three dirt I can't even read that. We have to play it. Whatever the hell it is, we're going to play it. And then we're playing the Undertale one to finish things. Backyard Garden. 3-D-U-R-C-R. What does that stand for? Okay, seriously, what the heck is this game? I mean, it kind of looks like Pikmin. I mean, it's, it's not Pikmin, but... I mean, it's cool. I have no idea what it's referencing. But it's still... It's actually a really cool stage. So this one also has very nice flow to it, which I like. For the past, like, two minutes, I've been trying to figure out what the hell this is from. I need to look at the abbreviation again. I still, I can't tell. I just straight up cannot tell what this game is. Is it a weird license game? Is it on 3DS? I think it's on 3DS. Whatever it is, this has got to be a 3DS game. Well, yeah, we got to wrap things up with Undertale. Metaton EX Stage. Oh my god, this looks incredible. Oh, this looks actually awesome. Oh, seventh anniversary. Oh, cool. Okay. Dude, look at this. Oh my god, this is freaking sick. <laughs> this is so cool. Dude, they got the freaking dog on a rope. Look at the disc ball. So many moving pieces. This is awesome. Dude, when is uh, Toby Fox going to make Undertale Cart, huh? This is a shockingly great track. Well, I guess I'm not that surprised, but still, this is really, really great. And I love all the hearts on the edges, too. It's a really nice touch. My god, this has been quite the journey, guys. Like, I have played this mod more than any mod in the past, like, couple years at least. Like, I saw, I'd heard about this, I'm like, oh my god, this is crazy, gotta find time to do it. And I'm just very glad that I've done it, and I've not played all the tracks. Probably will never play all the tracks, there's just way too many for me to play. <laughs> but, dude, I put in, what, like, 9, 10 hours of, of gaming? Pure gaming into this? And this has been an absolute pleasure. I'm so glad this mod exists, and I'm gonna keep my eye on it. Like, I don't know if I'll ever come back to it. <laughs> and maybe I'll come back to it if they do, if they do like... They add, they actually add all the tour tracks or something. Yeah, this, this mod has just been insane. And that wraps things up just like that. Thank you all so much for watching and sticking around, and I will see you very soon.